Well, howdy. Bob's here with some more. Red Dead. Roleplay on the Diablo RP server is George Hughes, who's trying to, he's trying to remember who he is. We'll get there. We'll get there. Now, memory servers I logged off. Yes. I'm in this doctor's house. <laughs> oh, God, I got a lot of crap on me. Uh, bring some water real quick. Now, I hope Hammer Razor is nearby as, um, Lieutenant to uh, unlock the door. <laughs> I eat these. Just eat some tomatoes. What else have we got? Got a bat. You got a toad. Yeah, you know, just just normal, you know, everyday things you want to have with you. All right. Shit's wild, yo. Oh, is that you, Mr. Tennant? That is. How we doing? Oh, you know, as good as someone can be that's been, you know, lying low in a basement full of taxidermy nightmares. <laughs> I know, right? How you doing? I'm uh, a lot better. I've, uh, I've been sleeping. I've been uh, doing a lot of training, a lot of thinking, and, uh, oh. and now I'm, uh, and ready to go. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And hopefully, hopefully, I can say the same. So I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm trying to just been sleeping a lot. Yep. Just sort of be enjoying the peace and quiet, and just doing yep. a lot of thinking. And you know, it's it's helped. You know, I'm trying See, to remember absolutely. everything. You know, it's it feels a bit better. You know. Pardon? Tell me what you've been thinking about oh just how i guess how you know a lot of the stuff happened on guam with everything you know it it felt right at the time but in hindsight it wasn't really right at all yeah exactly you know there's a part of me that knows that you know manufacturing those sort of substances and that can be a problem for you know a place like this Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, making people, you know, work, work in fields, you know, hard labor with next to no pay ain't right either. Definitely not. And the fact that m the first place they gave me to lodge when they found me was essentially a prison cell. Why exactly was that, Mr. Hughes? I don't know, but it's not like they... Like they would lock it a bit at night, saying to keep the, the Cubans out. But essentially... Wait, the Cubans? Yeah, they, they basically... They didn't really have to set up a prison, like a physical prison. It was more like a, a prison in my mind. They, they, they told me that... You know, he's telling me that my parents were from Cuba and they were killed by these crazy Cubans and they were wanting to come find me, so... That was sort of what was keeping me from wanting to leave Guama. And Wait, your parents were from Cuba? Well, I, that's what he says, but I, I don't think that's true at all. George, you're from... you're from England. Well, that's you, what people tell me, that I got extended family back over... You, uh, over in Europe, but... But I didn't really left, know that at the time. When you left, you were going back to England to visit your family. See, that makes a bit more sense to me, because, yeah. like, just, you know, the the thought of, you know, hearing that I'm Cuban, all you things. You must have washed up on Guam, Mr. Hughes. Well, that's the, the first thing I remember, really, apart from the, you know, being out on the drifted sea, is washing up on the beach. Yeah, exactly. That was a bit worse for wear, and I, I think they, I think they took advantage of my state. I think they did. 
I, I yeah. just can't believe they... I just don't understand how someone could do that to someone else. I don't know. Now, I know Squiz was there. And you've been after Squiz for a long time, Mr. Hughes. I knew him before Guama? You did. You were after him a long time. And I believe when I was a deputy or a recruit, Mr. Hughes, you took me to St. Denis to raid Squid's mansion. Jesus Christ. I remember I remember that 100%. So if I've been, if he and I have a history, so that would give him a reason to want to mess me about a bit, you know, take advantage. Exactly. But, but then it still confuses me the way, you know, I remember that, Tyler lady being there and yeah but then people tell me that she's the one that gave me this ceremonial axe it that just don't make sense and then there was a oh, was another fella Frank he was there he was right. nice enough but yeah just there were times where they just want to cut things off conversations and then but then why would the commander Unless maybe much. Squiz told the command he thought I was, you know, this George Hughes, and the commander thought, hey, you know, it's an extra pair of hands. Unless the commander wanted you for something else. But why would he keep your identity away from you? That's what I want to know. I don't know. It's, it's weird, but yeah, in hindsight, now that I've had time to think, it is a pretty goddamn weird situation. I feel mighty yeah. foolish, but I, I didn't. I didn't really know. I didn't really have anywhere else to turn. Here I am, can't remember shit. Washed up on an island. These people showing what seemed like kindness at the time. Yeah. Well, we had a few boys going to Guama. Right? And we had word saying that George Hughes was in Guama. And Marsha was like, no. George is not in Guama. George is in England. So the marshal said to myself, <clears throat> Freeman, uh, Frank Corley, and Jack Harkness, he said, boys, I could risk my job doing this, but if Hughes is on that damn island, we need to bring him back. Why is Hughes shooting at us? Like, why is Hughes doing this? And we're all like, that's not Hughes. That's not Hughes at all. And then once once I went there and we saw you, it was like, hang on a minute, that is Hughes. What have they done to you? Jesus. And yeah, it was just like once once I found you, once I saw the you know, I saw the boys locked up in the cells. I was like, we need to get everybody out of here. Something's not right. Now, I don't know what games the commander's playing, but I want to find out. I want to find out what game Squiz is playing. Right uh, now, I'm... All I really saw is that they just want to keep pumping out, manufacturing, you know, I think they would take... They would take the coca leaves and they'd turn some of it into paste for the, for the doctors here. Yes, and I then they get people to make bricks with no, the rest. No. And then I remember once, they actually brought me over. It was just an in and out here on a boat. And we actually did an exchange with some gang or something. Right. Handing a bunch over. Well, I know about the cocaine paste. Oh, someone's getting attacked by a wolf outside. Um, oh. Okay. Hey, um, Zozo. I know about the uh, cocaine paste because... Dolores, who owns this house, uh, I went with her to go and uh, bring some over because cocaine paste, you know, for the doctors. And I said to Squiz, I'm like, if I find out you're bringing other forms of cocaine into the county, there's going to be trouble. Because the, uh, you know, doctors need cocaine paste to help us if we get injured. But uh, cocaine? Not acceptable. In its purest form, definitely not acceptable. A lot of people in Guam live pretty, 
pretty poorly, but you know the commander, Squeeze Taylor, and that they've got their nice big houses, taking the lion's share of the work. Yeah, it's a dictatorship. That's what it is. I've been there before, and you know what? I think I remember walking past you one time there, Mister Bean. Mister, <laughs> I miss you and Mister Bean. Jeez. But yeah. I was like, they told me, no, that's Mr. Bing, and I was like, I didn't, I didn't stop to think and actually look at you, I was like, Mr. Bing, and I remember seeing a photo, a photo of you, and I was like, that's not George, that's not George at all, but we've got you back, Mr. Hughes, now, we need to help you remember. I'm trying to get better, I'm trying, but yeah, I'm now, trying as hard as I can. That's all right. We will get you there eventually. But what I want to do today is I want to take you to go see Marshall Smiley. <laughs> Hopefully he's calmed down a bit. But I understand. Hopefully. I understand his frustration and everything. I, again, I'm I'm so sorry about Mr. Freeman. It's That's okay. Look, it's not your fault. It's hard. Freeman, it was not your fault. At the end of the day, I'll tell you something about Freeman. All right. Freeman would have stayed on Guama regardless. Whether, like, Freeman's main objective would have been to get you out. Now, while you've been away, there's been a. Do you remember Iron Jaw? I know you keep hearing his name. Uh, I guess. You and Iron Jaw are very close to the department. Now, Iron Jaw's missing. Oh, hey, what? He's not in Guama too, is he? No, he's actually up in Amberino in the snow. Ah, oh, sh! I might have got the, I might have got the the better straw. You know, being yeah. on an island, it being stuck in the snow would be rough. Well, if, this is what we've come up with, right? So Freeman came back on duty. He's like, I've come back to duty. He sent me a telegram. I've got his letter, and he said, Lou, what is this I hear about Free uh, Angel? He's missing. How can a deputy be missing for about three months? So Freeman, myself, and Harkless have been up in the snow every now and then trying to find him. We found his horse dead. Ah. Oh. We went to the location of the mountain man. Oh. Now you've heard his name before, Mr. Lester Flat. Yeah. Now we saw three mountain men. Three. 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 Now. We don't know what's going on there, but Freeman said, I'm not leaving until we find Iron Jaw. I told him, Freeman, that's an order. You need to come back. There are wolves outside. There is a lot of wolves outside. But that's the type of person Freeman was. Freeman... Oh, yeah. yeah, I can hear him. Yeah. Someone's outside. That's... Should we be worried? No. I see a horse. I do too. No one should really be seeing us here anyway. But we will um we'll sneak out of here. We'll go to uh we'll go to Valentine and we'll go see Marshall Smiley. Before we head there, I thought I might pop into uh, town because if I if I was the the sheriff of this town, there's a chance that the uh I don't know the the barber and the clothes store and the bank they might they might remember remember mr hughes they might have we some can. information or i don't know, at least a change of clothes or something we can uh i'm not sure if the uh clothing shop works here but i'm not very liked here but i'll come with you anyway okay and then from here we'll go down to uh valentine all right Right. Let's be careful. Let's go through the back way. Hey, Gazoza, how you going? Gotta thank this doctor for letting me crash in the basement for about a week. You and it's me both. Very kind of her. Oh, maybe she's got some expertise dealing with people with a knock noggin. Oh, definitely. That good, huh, Zozo? That good, huh?
There's all sorts of animals running around. Hey, this is... Oh, there is. No, what? It's a taxidermist dream. I know, right? No wonder. No wonder she's making all these stuffed animal scenarios. Oh. It's just they're just throwing themselves at it. Oh, hang on a second. Ugh. You found a kitten today. Oh, this lady needs help. Oh. You all right, ma'am? Come with us, ma'am. We'll take you to Strawberry. Jeez, that's Strawberry there, isn't it? She might be drunk. Let's walk down here. Let's go down. Come on, ladies. Just down here. Which I found a kitten today, Gazozo. It's very... Consider yourself blessed today. Kitten gods. Keep your gun packed away, Mr. Hughes. The kitten gods have deemed people you worthy. don't like me, so I'm gonna be as little threat as possible. Okay. Tito, thank yeah, you for following. This is strawberry. Howdy, partner. It is nice. Stop. Now, you and I both used to run this town. Did we? Sheriff and under sheriff. Did we do a good job? We did. Oh, we did. Ain't that something? Let's go to the left here, real quick. Let's is this, this is the bank here? This is the bank, yep. Now, let me take a quick look. Go for it. Yo, Jack, how you going tonight, man? Alright, let's see what I left in the, um... Let's see what I left in the, um... The safe box here. Uh, and I better dump some stuff as well. I've got so much fucking shit on me. Oh. Uh. Machete. Oh, yeah. That's right. I was going to get another Navy revolver made to look the same as my main one. Oh, some food. Oh, and some more drinks. Oh, look at that. Uh, bandages. Okay. Bread, lots of bread. Ah, my bolt action rifle, my shotgun. There they are. Camera, lasso. Ah, my lantern. There it is. Um. Dear, from Nashma ba Bali. Dear George Hughes, hopefully you're doing fine the last few months. I've been fine. Had to handle some personal things. Recently found out that I am a grandmother. My baby girl, Tana, had a baby girl named Catherine Talia. Her husband, Edward, is a decent fella. Didn't think my little girl would have her own kid. Even went to the UK to visit her. Just recently got back. Found out I got fired, but I don't really care. I'm just happy that I am a grandmother. Shocking that I would never see myself a 27-year-old <laughs> as, as it's the start of the tab. Also found out that my brother is alive. But is it a real bad, bad person? I don't even want to talk about him. I just thought he was dead along with my 
Ima, mother in Hebrew, and Ab Abba, 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 father in Hebrew. So Chuck didn't know about it. Don't think I ever spoke about my brother. Armold? He was a year younger than me, and I don't want to talk about him. Also decided to visit my parents' place up north, pay respects. Never knew going back to these places would give me some sadness, but I have good times. Not gonna lie, you remind me of my father. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to catch up, let me know. Your friend, Nashma. Bad line. <laughs> oh, as a night, I'll have to, I'll have to reply to that when I, properly when I got time. That's nice. Alright, Mr. Hughes, let's go. Let's well, like this yeah, way. I, uh... Yeah? Yeah, under George Hughes, there's a bunch of... Bunch of stuff stored away, like a... Like a rifle, and a shotgun, and a camera, and... A whole bunch of stuff. Exactly. And, uh, well, stuff definitely, Mr. Hughes. I'd received a telegram from, a, a Nashma Bali. Nashma, I haven't heard of her, heard from her for a long time. Yeah, she said she's been dealing with a bunch of stuff for a while, but she she yeah. seemed nice in a in a telegram. Yeah. All right, now we can uh, let's go back to the uh, the park real quick. There's, there's no clothing store here. Uh, there is, but I don't think it works too well. All right, that's all right. If anybody asks, I'm gonna call you John Farnham. Right. Okay. Just, uh, just for safety. Okay, I am John Farnham. Exactly. <laughs> I can <just> talk so <laughs> You're the voice I understand. Hey, bud. Alright, Mr. Farnham. This is the uh, department. It is pretty basic, isn't it? It's just it is. wooden block says jail. Well, it not, used to be our place. Not very inviting, is it? Could really use That's a bit of a paint job. Whoever made this ain't much of an architect, I'll tell you that much. They really are. Uh, especially next to the, that building over there with its like European influences. This is just this is just a piece of shit. Uh, it's, pardon it's, my French. That's right. It's nice on the inside. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's you know it's got function, I guess. But yeah, it don't look nice. It doesn't. But the good thing is we've got the little jail cells down here. Uh, dungeon. Yep. There's a little. Bit grim, but you know, yeah. make good use of space. Exactly. Well, you and I used to catch a lot of criminals, Mr. Farnham. Did we? And uh, we've put everybody in here. We've put oh. a lot of people away in here. There's people can breathe down here, right? Is there windows or something? There's windows. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, that might be a bit inhumane. Well, you know what? It's uh, better than the ones that we saw you down in Guama with. Yeah, true. Because these ones have windows, you know. True. Alright. Let's Whoa. see if anything upstairs can do memory. Whoa. Let's see if the paperwork up to the desk. Yeah. What other songs did John Farnham do? Is he the one that did the... We'll be riding on the horses! Yeah, yeah! Right, let's go through these papers here. That's here the way go. it's gonna be, little darling! Is that him? Pardon? Look at this. For the desk. Look at this piece of paper I'm pointing out over here. Eh? Oh, it's this is stamped by. Who wrote it? I, I can't read in this light. Pick it up and then move it over. I don't know, what's it say? It's a report that is done by a George Hughes. Hmm. Oh, that is my handwriting. It is. That's a filing cabinet here. Oh, or shit. File desk, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, a lot of this it's... shit adds up, especially that photo, like the matching gun and the face and that. So it's... Yep. Yeah, I'm inclined to believe, y'all. It's just, just trying to connect uh -huh. the dots and just hopefully it comes flooding back. Look, it will take time. It will definitely take some time. But uh, we'll get there, Mr. Farnham. Is there anything else in Strawberry you wanted to have a look at? 
Nah, I just want to, if there's a change of clothes, but we can do that in Valentine. Alright, let's go to Valentine. Alright. Uh, I sent the telegram earlier to the marshal. <laughs> oh, Daryl uh, Braithwaite did the horse. Whoops. I don't really listen to John Farnham or Daryl Braithwaite. To be perfectly honest with you. I don't know who the fuck they are. It's Razor. Razor! Very easy. We'll be riding on the horses. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Mr. Mr. Farnham. Alright. Here. Yeah, make sure you get a clean kill so we can leave him for the, the doctor to stuff. <laughs> you know what I might do? I might buy myself a hunting wagon. Go hunt a few animals and just deliver them to Mr. Lord. Yeah, that'd be a nice way to say thanks. Yeah. I might I might do something nice for for the both of us. Yeah, well, it's now we give her a foot massage. That's true. I've been, uh, been hiding Mr. Hughes all week. Why? Once. So, my, na my name's been for the last week Gideon Cage. Right. Now, I was shot in the back of the head. Jesus Christ! Yeah. By by a gang that, or an organization that we are dealing with on the pond called the Black Hand Mafia. Black Hand Mafia, right? Yes. Or shot actually in Strawberry. Oh, sorry to hear that. That's okay. <clears throat> nice place to die. Well, yeah. If it wasn't for Dolores saving my life, because I nearly died, she uh, saved my life and I said, take me somewhere, you know, secret. She took me there. And, uh, I was, wasn't really able to do much, Mr. Hughes. It's like, when you saw me on Guama, I was very sick. Why are you riding into me? Uh, I was very sick. Yeah, you seemed a bit run down. Yep, I kept getting concussed. I kept fainting. So I needed time to, uh, repair myself. And, uh... This went by a different name. And I spoke different. So people would leave me alone sort of a thing. So heal. <laughs> now I'm back better than ever. Oh, that's good to hear. Now, there's a few members on the department that's also pretty sick as well. What, is there like a flu going around or something? No. We just keep getting shot. Oh, yeah, that, that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tom Lloyd. <Lake. laughs> I know there's a lot of people that are really excited to see you. Oh, I hope I don't disappoint them. Mr. Harkness, longtime friend, Mr. Schuber. Now, Mr. Schuber, I'm very excited because you recruited him into the department. In oh, Strawberry. wow. With his friend, uh, Mr. Kane. Oh, yeah. That's 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 nice to know. Yeah. When I went up to when we told him that we're going to rescue George, he was like, "Can't wait to see him again. I need to talk to him." That's nice. That's nice. Oh, look out! They're in a hurry. Yeah, exactly. If you want to get a haircut or anything, Mr. Hughes, let me know. I can give you some money for it. Uh, yeah, that'd be nice. Yep. 
See if the barber remembers me and get the get the usual. Oh, thanks. For uh, your haircut and uh, a new pair of clothes. That's the way it's gotta be. No, I'm gonna call you Mr. Farnham again. You gotta be careful here, Valentine. The place of mud and morons. Welcome back, Mr. Farnham. Ugh. Also, go get yourself a nice bath. Bath in here? Uh, yep. Where's the clothes? Uh, right here. So go to that front desk. Oh, yeah. oh right. There's the way it's gotta be. Let's see if I got my outfit saved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See now, where's my um? Why didn't I save? Why didn't I save the um, the outfit I used to wear like at the start? Why didn't I save that? I can't believe I don't have that saved. That's annoying. Um. What belt did I use to use? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think way back, like when I first started on the server. I think I used just the dress shoes, yeah. What did I use? No, I used boots when I first started. I used like boot boots. See if I can re remember. I'll know when I see him, right? Yeah, that's definitely them. these that might do for now Where are the ties? Where's that coat I used to always wear? 
The long one with the... With, there it is. Think that? I think I used to wear that vest. Yeah, I think it was that one. Blue's gun belt. You know the NPCs going on at, at each other. Uh, these, some of these belts are too fancy. I can't remember what belt I used to use. Hey Ash, how you going? I can't remember what kind of belt. Just something like that, and then like a, and then like a, a, a decent looking buckle on it. Can't remember. I'm going all right. You know, powering through the week, just you know, keeping busy, getting stuff done. You know, keeping it real. Maybe just that for now. Was a fizzy fan. I thank you for the follow. How to partner? Um. Yeah, I had a buckle like. I think it was that? Yeah, that rings a bell. I don't think I had anything like that. Uh, hat. Where's the Hughes hat? Hughes is not complete. Now, he can't remember everything yet. But, you know, old habits die hard, and his sense of fashion definitely remains. Where's that damn hat? Where are you? Ah, you joined yesterday, Fizzy. Excellent to hear. Well, I hope you have a good time. Thank you for popping in the lurk. I hope you have a fantastic time. And, yeah, don't be afraid to ask questions, you know within reason in the discord and that but just remember that a lot of stuff will result in the answer find out in character <laughs> so just be mindful of that <laughs> you got an email notification ravensgate oh my goodness that's fancy how you going mate where's this fucking hat all you can eat japanese ash Ooh. where's this hat Wait. Is that it? Oops. Is that it? Is that, or is it this one? I think it's this one. Pretty sure it's this one. I think it's that one. Okay, so I got the shirt, the tie, the vest, the pants, that. Um, I'm not sure about the boots. I'm not 100% sure about the boots. Let me just see. Oh. Oh, I think it was these. That might do for now, anyway.
Wait, where'd the outfit go? Where'd the outfit go that I just got? Oh, where did it go? It then reverted to that. Where did it go? Oh, what the fuck, dude? Oh my god. Ah, oh, this shit can be the f fucking worst, man. This shit can be the fucking worst. These fucking closed doors, man. <laughs> fucking hell, dude. You got I got to do all that again. Fuck. Oh. What a fucking joke, man. Is it taking my money again, too? Jesus Christ. Give me a sec. I can't. It's fucking frustrating. Hey, actor. So I'll catch up with you in a sec. I just want to get this done because Hammer's waiting outside. I didn't mean to be this long. Best. Okay. All right. That'll do for now. Okay. I've I've got I think I think I've got the outfit set again, yeah? Of course, it would be painful. Gallagher, Hello, Dill. Uh, Thank you for the resub. Get to. Uh, I deputies. always work, mate. I'm mm -hmm. always. Mr. Hughes. Mr. Hughes, inside. Oh, hello. Mr. Hughes, this is uh, Mr. Schuber, Mr. Gallagher, Gallagher, sorry, and Mr. Le uh, Lewis. At it. Wait a minute. How are you feeling, fella? Right. We go to uh, George. One of the people from Guam over here, Hunter. Uh, I just had a gun to her head. Yep, I just had a gun to her head. Will you two go join the other deputies at the office, please? Luckily, all the uh, department came Thank in, you. so I was going to shoot her. I was oh gonna my! Shoot her. Oh yeah, I was just just picking this very fashionable outfit, trying to base it off that photo Smiley showed me. That's the one. You know, you can also. Uh, I'll tell you a little secret, Mr. Hughes. If you go rent a room upstairs, you can get your uh, your old clothing. Oh no, the 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 tailor had, didn't have any outfits. Yeah, yeah. If you rent a room, written down. There's a. Uh, there's uh, an old it's got the, your old wardrobe. Oh, so so uh, bef the before the Guama time. Yep. Yeah, with the the red vest of strawberry and. Oh. All right. Okay, okay. I'll, have a, I'll yeah. have a look at that sometime. Yeah. Sorry, I just need time to. <clears throat> Hello, oh, Fez. Yeah. Holy shit! She said Freeman deserved what he got. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, oh, good, bits good. and pieces. You don't remember me, Sheriff Hughes, do you? I've heard good things. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, we'll get there. Don't worry. Uh, we still got time to go to the barber. We do. Oh. we do. Well, now that's starting to look like Mr. Hughes that I know. I was basing it off the photo you showed me. 
Well, let me where, say you, look in the pot there. might help me remember. Smiley also. Where the um, hell's the barber? In the Inside saloon. The saloon. In the saloon. It's in the saloon. There is yep. uh, right. They, uh, one of them were uh, the recruit. They're with right. Me. They're right here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh. Right back there by the scrap pole. I did. I did read the telegram. I did. I did. I did. All right, let's grow a beard. So as you do that, Mr. H or Sheriff Hughes, I don't know if you remember me. You uh, swore me in as a recruit way back in the day. He's going to have to wait. <laughs> Sorry, Shuba. <laughs> Where's the Hughes beard? I don't think it's that one. Stop moving! The way they fucking move around. Sit still! You bastard. Sit still. Thanks for the follow, Stashy. Palmer! No, it's not that one. Maybe it was that one. No, here, here's the here's the bit I would use as use. Uh yes. Oh yeah, they uh, they mentioned I swore you in or something like that, which is which is nice. Yeah, yeah. Me and Rick Kane back in the day. He's not with the department anymore, but oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, did before. he pass on? No, no, no. He just it it didn't fit him. Oh, well, that's fair enough. Yeah, but uh, I stuck around. I'm a corporal now. Oh, well, congratulations! Hey, it wouldn't have been without you. Oh, well, hopefully I remember a bit of that magic that, that helped you. Hopefully it comes back and helps me. Yeah, you, you laid down the path, and I just walked it. Oh, that's very kind of you to say. Uh, well, that, that, it's kind of me, and it's stuck with me since then. Uh, well, there's hope for me yet. I, I would say so. We'll, we'll get you back up to speed. Don't you worry. All right. All right let's get back you, to the uh, others. Uh, I'll, try and yeah. be, I'll try and be useful. After you? Well, thank you. Really letting you know she might be a scout. Holy shit! There he is. Oh my god, let's bring a tear to my. Do I look the part? Oh, you look the part. Nice. And you better you better become the part soon. I'm trying my help. What shoes will I get changed? I figured it might help. How do you feel? Is things coming to you yet? Well, yeah, bits and pieces. Like I was telling Luke, you know, spending a week laying low in a in a basement full of taxidermy nightmares you know really gets you thinking about a lot of stuff and a lot of time to sleep and just you know enjoy some peace and quiet rather than the craziness of guama so yeah you know, you know bit, little bits here and there but so so what what what, what do you remember well the main thing i ticked off with lou is that you know, i definitely can see that you know the the sort of the, the 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 prison they had set up in my mind in Guam and that whole situation was very wrong and I did not feel in hindsight I did not really feel comfortable with that at all but based on the circumstances it was sort of just survival and uh yeah don't worry upon I'm not gonna hold that against you what they did was wrong and yeah if it was up to me I'd be rushing back in what you know some justice but unfortunately I don't have that jurisdiction Oh, that's fair. No, it just really rubs me the wrong way in hindsight. It's quite, quite embarrassing to think about, but, you know. I'd like to uh, take this moment to apologize to you, sir. But what uh, for? I shot you in the stomach with buckshot. Oh! Oh, dear, that's all right. You know, the doctors. But if it makes you feel better, you shot me back. <laughs> oh, there we go. You know, it's all squared away, and, you know, the... It, you know, the doctors between here and Guam, they, uh, miracle workers, so, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, Mr. Hughes, I... Yeah. I really don't want to do this in front of the other, uh, the other deputies, but... You want to punch I, me again, what... don't you? No, actually the opposite, partner. If anything, I want to fucking give you a hug. 
I I can I'm, look away while you hug. <laughs> yeah, we, we can look the other way. No, 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 not Smiley, today. Not the today. The, listen, at the end of the day, you never know when we might lose another one. Do it. <sighs> yep, true. Get it. Damn. Get in there, Smiley. I'll give him a hug. He used. <laughs> oh, thank you. What, what are the kids calling it nowadays? A cuddle puddle? Well, thanks, Lou. No problem. Hughes, do you still have that knife? I got gotcha. you. The one, the engraved one. I've, I've had this uh, axe, this ceremonial axe, and this knife with me, uh, since I was lost at sea. Let me, let me get it out. You, you done, you done, you, you done <laughs> squeezing me, smile? Thank you, thank you, Marshal Joe, or whatever I call you. Look, when I got those reports that that the first report that some of my deputies saw you. Well, someone that looked like you and saw you shooting back at us, I I, I refused to believe it. I, I, there was a part of me that refused to believe it. We could we go to the uh, special place? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, dang. That As knife. You know, we're fine here. That, that knife. Is was this a it? Gift from, yeah. was a gift from me and Rick, if I remember correctly, that when you got promoted to sheriff, we wanted to congratulate you. Oh. And uh, we got you that knife as a gift. Oh, well, it, it was very helpful. You know, without it, I wouldn't have been able to, without it in the axe, I wouldn't have been able to survive. I, I had to use them to, you know, open coconuts and fight off crabs and a whole bunch of crazy island shit. Well, I, I'm not looking for praise back for giving you a gift. Just trying to jog your memory a little bit, see if you remember. It might, it might have saved. I might, I might have died without it in the axe. Well, there you go. I got a a big question for you that I'm hoping you can you can tell me the answer, but I'm I'm ve not feeling very hopeful the the way your memory is right now. <laughs> you wouldn't have come across Mr. Uh, Iron Long jo uh, Lawrence <laughs> Joel. Who? <laughs> Lawrence Iron Joel. Do I know something you about? What's missing? Well. My time on Guama, no, no one, there was no want? one by that name. She's back. She's back. She's back Nothing. Yeah. I was just trying to get some food. You know, I've got a big journey. I would just got a, just got a big journey. If you ain't doing Stay anything away. illegal, I just you got can, a big journey. Please, you can be fine. Where I really have to go. Shoot my place. I promise you, if I'm not in Guama in five minutes. Anyway, I can come to Guama with you if you want. Oh. Anyway, uh, as we'll say, yeah, you don't remember anything about Iron Joel. You don't see, you haven't seen him. You don't recognize anyone. He was not over in Guama. There, there was no, nothing to suggest he was there. Oh shit! Every, the next one. every day, I get, I feel like I'm getting closer to having all the department back in one place, but. Well, I guess that's their next next little operation yep. is trying to find where I enjoy is. And mm -hmm. now, I hope, now they got Hughes back, at least he can help out with searching for him. That's right, you'd have to take, you're going to have to take Freeman's place, Hughes. Right, fair enough. So, uh, yeah, we're just still waiting to hear. To get so, ha have we talked to you about your job? Uh, not really. So... This is how it's going to go down, partner. I'm thinking while you're uh, getting getting your feet back on the ground, I'm going to put you as a corporal. Right. Uh, one, I want Lou here to take you under his wing. He's going to kind of, you know, make sure you get your foot in, you remember everything. And as your memories come back and as you get readjusted to the job, I'll bust you up back to the captain. Sure. But, you know, whatever you guys feel comfortable with. I'll try my best. All right. Well, what what did you have mind today, uh, Lou? What how are we gonna try and jog this boy's memory? I don't know. I was gonna see maybe if you knew anything. Maybe take him to some sites. Um... I'm trying to think of. Problem is we've been all over and we have so many memories all over the place. I have no idea where to begin. And that doctor's not around, is she? Dolores, uh, not too sure. 
Oh, I, I believe, I believe, I believe Dolores was around. She came yeah, to the yeah, promotion med before. Medical professional might do the trick. You can go have um, a look at roads, actually. Let's, let's go have a quick. Well, I'll we'll send I'll send out a little telegram and let it, let them oh. know we're heading to roads. Smiley, yeah. I also need to give you the car back. He was, he was. Oh, that's funny, old man. Perfect. Good timing. Yes, I'll go do that now. What's your number? What's your number? Uh, one two zero. One two zero. You right to look after Mr. Farnham for me? Yep, I'll take care of it. Mr. Farnham, I'm calling you Mr. Farnham. I'm calling you Mr. Hughes. I don't care. If your memory ain't back. If you wanna. I don't mind. Sir, one two zero. Yep, yeah, one two zero. All right, let's go see if we can find Mr. Loris. If not, I'll send a telegram and we'll tell her we're heading over to Ever the Road. Ridiculous down that way at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. You agree yourself, Marshall? Hey. I think Marshall wants to talk to us. Uh, ah, no, the old I'm Valentine port. How about this? How about oh, sorry. Down to yeah, I think you're going to have to start saying with Marshall with. Gabe and Marshall Smiley. Marshall Smiley, yeah, I just took the... I don't know if you heard any incidents or whatnot about what's happening down Strawberry Way, but I'm just thinking yeah, if anyone's going down that way, they should have the... No. The priority of numbers to, to head off that way at this point Definitely. in time. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'd also recommend you, before you rush in there, you go, you oh, scout yes. the place out. Yeah, up, up to that, I've, I'm hoping everybody here knows about the little, uh, the little cliff top that looks over the town. Mm -hmm. Got it. It's actually got two of them that are real nice. Yeah. I think it's in that, the, 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 the I love western a good one. one from the east. Yep. Uh, oh, just also want to, while, while I got you, mm -hmm. uh, Sheriff, I uh, just want to quickly Ooh. state, um, so, Mr. Hughes here, while he's, uh, getting readjusted Where's with the, not only his Lou memories, the but the job, I'm putting him as a, uh, is that, corporal. Is that who I think it is? Yeah, yep, yep. It, it is 100% who you think it is. That Hughes? I, I was actually oh, looking at him back, oh god, he looks familiar. Uh, howdy. Smiling a moment. Howdy there, partner. Yeah, nice to well, you know, meet y'all. Yeah. I've been I'm assured that I've met you all before and I'm doing my best to remember. But take your yeah. time, take your time, partner. Nice to meet y'all yeah, all the same. Take your time, man. Good to see you again. Hello. Howdy, partner. Oh. I must say you're looking mighty fresh there. Hey, Tessa. Oh, it's yeah, it's my mm -hmm. Marshall Joe here had a an old photo of me, so I was just trying Hello. to recreate that. It might help me get back in the swing of things. Yep. You'll get a little so if you need anything, come for me. Speaking of that, so yeah, he's, uh, I put him as a corporal for, hey, you know, I think it was like a little trial period. Mm -hmm. uh, just while he's getting his memory back and while he's yep. uh, getting when readjusted. And once he's uh, been readjusted, we all find him, you know, fit for work. He will can you guys hear me? back up to captain. Yep. I can now. Yeah, I'm Listen to this. Nah, Listen here, Lou. You are not welcome to Guama anymore. You want to point a gun at my wife's head and say you are going to kill her <laughs> and my fellow friends? Rest in piss, Clive Freeman and the corrupt. Uh-uh. What? That's the code. Yeah, that's Squiz. <laughs> so I, ta I talked to Hunter. I told her, you know, what she said was inappropriate, but at the yeah. same time I understood. And I told her, I was like, what about if someone shot Squiz and then said that to her? And she's like, no, I understand that. I was like, you handle Squiz? You, you walk away. We'll handle Lou. We'll walk away. We both sides bury the hatchet. Yeah. So. I'm just gonna send. Thanks for the, the Coco Cowboy Coco, whoever gave that to me. Listen to me. So. Now. I, remember, I, look, I, I, this this pisses me off just as much as anyone. But at the end mm -hmm. of the day, we can't go, you know, doing much about it. This is, a, is you know. We don't even have that kind of jurisdiction. Dakota, go use the other one. That being said, if Squiz is uh, down doing anything wrong around here, well, you let me know. I just said to him, you listen to me. Your wife came out, came to me with a gun. And if I find out you had anything to do with Clive Freeman's death, Oof. not even the Guama army's going to stop me. Dakota, have you reached through that window? Figured. I'm gonna okay. throw you off this porch. Let's, uh, let's go this way, we'll sort out a patrol there to take you up. Yep, yep. Uh, 
Is there something that I've missed? There seems to... I feel... I feel... Hello, Miss Tessa. Oh. Hello. Uh, I'm happy to see you're right. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm doing great. I, I apologise for having my binoculars and not my gun out in those slumps. <laughs> I know, I had my gun out and I was pointing it. I was like, oh, it's not really good if only one of us has the gun. Yeah, no, I uh, <laughs> I took those binoculars down. Yeah, everybody like, really well, likes this window, don't they? Uh, yeah, it happens. Alright. Uh, uh, now. Cloud Freeman, which I'm killed. Um, wasn't that like ages ago? A little while ago, yeah, but just been like a this is fumes coming up. Oh, okay, right. Who's on the little rocks? Let me get my guns out. Why can't I pick up? Yep, yep. Oh. I need to get my guns out from the bank. Oh, don't worry, I did right when I uh, took the tunnel. <laughs> Do you know who that guy is? That... No. When I get the chance... He looks really ugly. I do gotta talk to... Before we go, Smiley, I just need to get my man. guns out from the bank. Oh good, I just, uh, uh I just sent, uh, Mr. Uh, Loris a, a to telegram. Yep. Oh. Mm. Uh, Can I deliver my message? Uh, sure, pardon? Um, first of all... I was found in a lab, and I'm not quite all here yet, but I was told that you're all very corrupt, and a, a good friend of mine actually told me to say that, um... Yeah, I need to have a chat with you. Mm -hmm. You want to get those words out, Paul, boy? Hold on, let me... I would I sound them out. Why are you so large? Because I train, I, I run around the, the county every day for six me. hours a day. Very large soldiers, mister. Anyway, that's oh, that's what I was going to say. My friend told me that I had to come say that you're all very corrupt and that Clive Freeman got what he deserved. And who would be your friend? Um, I'm not sure, actually. You don't know your own friend, partner? Well, I have... See, I was best. in a lab and I was treated very badly and I woke up in Blackwater, so I don't remember things very well and sometimes my brain doesn't work. But, um... Yeah, I know all about that. Hmm. The fuck? God, why is everyone around me having issues with a goddamn head? Look, partner, you go run around wrong to your friend and you tell him, well, if he's got such a big mouth, why don't he come say it to our face? Well, but I was saying it to your face, and I think that's good enough, really. No, nah, not really, partner. It sounds like your friend's a coward. <laughs> no, my friend isn't a coward. My friend's very brave, actually. Well, you don't actually know your friend, apparently, so... <laughs> no, I do know my friend. I just can't... <laughs> but you can't remember him? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting about that. I was told that I should shoot one of you, but I'm not going to do that, because that would get me in trouble, and I quite like my gun. Yep, that would get you in a lot of trouble, partner. Like, probably get you shot too, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of you. There's a, a few too many, to be honest. I don't really like it. Why are there so many of you? Well, because we got to try and protect this uh, county. You're not my problem. Speaking of which, we might uh, we might need to get out of your hair, partner. I called partner, your so, husband to chill out. You know, since you can't remember your friend and all, he's. Yeah, I'm just going to assume he's. It's, he's yeah, nothing walk away, worth. motherfucker, and walk away. He and told me to do... walk away. Not you, Frank. You did that. Okay, I'm fine. That Say man has very broad shoulders. I touched them before. He's a bad man, Frank. Bad. He's a ba he is one of the bad men. Yeah, he's bad. You're bad. Tell your little chihuahua I'll see him soon. <laughs> Who's the chihuahua? Am I the chihuahua? Say that about my husband again. Tell the chihuahua I will see him soon. Don't say oh, that about my, my husband. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. Assault. Now it's assault. <laughs> Shoot him, Frank! Frank, shoot him! Should I come back later, or...? No, no, we still want to talk to you. You know, Holy I can't see someone like that. You can't see someone like that. Yeah, you get it done like for battery. Need one with me. Well, I want to press charges against you. Go for it. Well, welcome oh, back, Hughes. I don't know if I like this place. Yeah, great. I'm hoping these will start these these type yeah, of things will start jogging your memory because you're gonna be dealing with it a lot. Oh, goody! I'm gonna take these gentlemen. Uh, we're gonna go down the strawberry and show some face down there. Then we're gonna head out and split off. Sounds like a plan, partner. 
Uh, where's Send Eagle? me a telegram if you need anything. Yeah, beautiful, will do. Uh, Let's point a gun to it before I do something. Well, I guess we'll uh, wait for Lou. Down the straw, we'll, uh, right. got something we'll on. head up the road. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll pop a couple of you. Oh, I think there's a few of this guy. Oh, maybe you should start getting used to uh, you are, you are. seeing these uh, things. Let's go in and be a little quiet and we can watch for Luke to handle the uh, Somehow I don't know my criminals. This, uh, this porch is a real hot wall. spot, isn't it? Quite a throat. That's quite a throat. Come with me, Mr. F. Mm. Sorry, boys. You right now? I'm so sorry. I'm uh, sorting out a cup of on my Mr. Head. Smiley, can you bring in Ingo Patch? He's just outside. No, I'll go back to me. Prince Mayton. Ah, the old Valentine yeah, Sheriff's Office. Alright, alright. Yep. Get him back up. Mm. No worries. Face me, please. You're really gonna regret this, Lou. I'm a nice person, but yeah, you just mess I with me. Yeah, I used to be a nice person. What the hell happened to you? When you get shot in the head. <laughs> Did I hear that right? He got shot in the head. You better be a little Frank. He's like my little brother. I got no issue with Frank. Whoever the hell he is. If you touch Frank, oh my god. I don't care god. about Frank. I don't uh, care about Frank. Little Frank did nothing to you. He's new. <laughs> I don't care about Frank or who he is. Uh, oh, Frank right, is not my himself. concern. Who, who's little Frank? Is that concern. that person passing on the message? All of you are corrupt. You should be out there getting people that are robbing banks. What about those boys in Strawberry or Black Hand Mafia? But instead, you're getting someone who's just said some few words. It's not fair. You got any information on those? Uh... You oh, I do. You get it? Yeah, give us some information then. I'm not telling you oh. shit. Well, how about then? we um, we wait till Mr. Petriati's, uh No, no, let's let's get her out of here. I don't want to see her anymore tonight. <laughs> oh, I you'll see me, big boy. Uh, just step back, please, a bit, Mr. F. While I ask oh, that's me. This is a, this is a, <laughs> this is a very small small building. It very much is. Mm. Yeah, it seems to hold too many people. Yeah. yeah right. But to get even smaller, I think we got visitors outside. Uh, we always do. They really like that. This, this porch is the it's that it's the most happening place in town. That's oh, not, like, what do you want? Was... Hang, hang on a second. I remember that before. Uh, nah, no, no. Howdy. I don't, I, don't, I remember shit. Hello. Somewhere. Don't worry. Oh. What are you looking at? It's you. Is that you, Bean? All right, Mister. My name is not Bean. Oh, my appointment's ready then. Mister. Patch. Your information <laughs> that you've been Mr. writing Luton. down about Guama. Where did you get this information from? Came as a telegram with an anonymous attachment. Anonymous attachment, right? So yep. if I was to send you a letter with an anonymous attachment saying that there's flying objects in the sky, pigs have been sorted, uh, seen running around at supersonic speed, would you write that in your newsletter? Well, it depends if I could follow it up with a, with uh, evidence from other sources. Which other sources did you uh, did you seek out? I've got people that. Do talk to me, Lieutenant. All right, so the law department going to Guam to kill natives. See, now that I know is bullshit. 
So why do you write it in your newspaper? Because I was part of the story. If you look at the bottom, it did say that I had another source in the department that also said that a lot of it is just complete bullshit. That source I trust. This right. other source who says they're from your, your mob, I don't trust 100% because I don't know who the fuck they are. They're All from I our mob. From your department. So who's that? Who's your source? Which one? The first or the second? Both of them. Can't tell you. You can't tell us. Can't tell you. Marshall? <laughs> he doesn't want to tell us. Apparently we've got people uh, spreading misinformation. Well, unfortunately... Got one person spreading misinformation. The first, the second, second source I trust. Well... Right. Here's, here's so why, is, look why do you not want to tell us who this person is? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... I just don't want to tell you their names because I don't want them to lose their job over it. I mean, the first person, I wouldn't mind it, but at least for now, I want to, I want to promise on that. No one's going to lose any job. We just uh -huh. want to know who it is. No, nah, can't tell you. Now, look, this is this is something that I can't tell you because I've, I'm also got my own shit to deal with on this. The source, the source that I got from your from the first person who told me all this information, I have reason to believe they're tied up with some people that got me to run out of Saint Denis. Now, there's not many many organisations that operate out in Saint Denis. I'm sure you can figure it out. Mr. Hmm. Fetch, you do understand that this is conspiracy, right? If you want to try and lock me up for conspiracy, by all means, I won't stop you. But I'm not going to get my ass kicked outside of these walls. Well, Mr. Petch, when you do want to come and talk to me, you know where to find me. Will do. And as I said, I've got nothing. There's not much I have against you guys. As I said, that second source I trust. And that second source is along with you guys. Not here in the room, but yeah, he works well with you. I'm no int I've got no interest in spoiling the good work that you guys do. It's the first source that I don't trust 100%. And it's that first source that also has the ability to reach out and get my ass kicked and probably killed because of the people that they're tied up with. I highly Sorry. suggest if you know someone is, has uh, connections to outside sources that will jeopardize the department and you do enjoy our good work, then I suggest you do tell us. But when you're ready to tell us, you please let me know because we need to get this ASAP. Certainly. But that's up to you. It's all up to you. Anyone got a pen and paper on them? I do not. How about I run into you later on? You sent me a telegram. Certainly. Look, I, I just want to say, Mr. Indigo, before you, you leave, you know, what you're doing, you, there ain't no law against it. There ain't no jurisdiction that anyone has, and I believe just as much the next man in the freedom of speech. But do remember that comes at a price, and I do think that you should use that privilege for, for good and making sure that, you know, slanderous uh, comments aren't made, especially about those out there trying to protect yourself. Don't worry, I understand that, which is why I did go to my second source as quickly as I could find them. Because, and I'm sure some of the guys here I think I spoke to earlier regarding it, that was the first comment that I got. I trust that you guys aren't going to start bullshitting. You, don't, you run a tight ship here. You're not going to start pulling secret operations with with your own personal tight-knit group off in some far country. Oh, I'd I like to think you won't. On. So, I wait, so when I talk to some of your higher ranks and they go, nah, this is bullshit, it's completely false. If we did that, we'd lose our badge. That's the quote I take. But I'm not going to sit there and take it on face value. Well, I'm going to go to my second source and I'm going to double check. And yeah, even they said, nah, it's complete bullshit. It's someone else pretending to be the department shouting out names that they don't have. Aaron, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, it said uh, Walter Gold and Shuba were involved. Shuba. Walter Gold, have you ever been to Guama? No, sir. Exactly, and if I remember correctly, Walter Gold wasn't around back then. Exactly. Nope. Yeah, see? I, I pay attention to more than just what comes out of the department. I've also got mates in, in other places as well. They talk to me. They tell me that Walter Gold wasn't a hot, what didn't have a hide or hair out in Guama. Put in your newspaper that uh, they're brainwashing people in Guama and they're uh, 
Oh, they're killing. Yeah. They're killing people. I've got no doubt about that. I also am aware that there might also be drugs and shit flowing out of Guama. How am going to give me a bloody passport over there anytime soon? I'm asking too many questions already. Definitely. Well, am I free to go? You're free to go, Mr. Fetch. Like I said, do you have any information you let us know? If uh, anything crosses my mind, I'll uh, certainly let you know. No problem. Free to go. Fantastic. It's a pleasure, gentlemen. Hmm. I don't trust him. Mm -mm. Well, nope. Atlas, we got a we got an appointment to make. Mm. Mm -hmm. Got to... Miss uh, Dolores waiting for us. Oh yeah. In uh, Rhodes. Okay. Oh. Okay, come along. I'm gonna yeah, in a wagon. Yeah. Oh, I fucking don't still. Someone lock the door. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy. So you the, the smells and that come back to you, Mr. Hughes? <laughs> uh, unfortunately not, despite how this play is it's definitely iconic. I'm I'm picking I'm I'm definitely picking up the vibe that this place is a bit of a Yeah. Yeah, well, you're probably gonna start getting used to it, partner. Right. As much as I I'm sure running around in Guama was all you know, beautiful sunshine and beaches. Yeah, it was a very pretty place. We got a bit hot. Where is everyone else? Uh, they're on patrol. Sorry, you had to see that again, Mr. Hughes. Uh, it's all right. Is that a rock that went past my head? Hmm? Oh, no, I think it's ran into an old sheriff too. Oh, okay. Uh, Julian Phillips. Hey, um, could you fellas go looking for him, or did he just happen to be in the area? Who? Mr. Patch. He was just right into town when I was, uh, hmm. hunting Hunter. Huh. Oh, this is nice. Alright, let's go. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna write my, uh, report on Hunter. Oh, yeah. Just be careful, because when you come out of that report, <laughs> he'll send you off. Oh. Tom Loy. If you, uh, <laughs> go limp, you'll be able to, uh, fall out, and then you just kind of run and jump back in. I'll just go slow down. That's right. Are you all good? Willie's gonna get Hughes out. The go. last thing he does. Oh. <laughs> you, got, you, got it. you got it, Walter. Oh. Come on, Walter. Oh, Walter you, got it. you got it. Get on your feet. Oh, 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 I was just looking for it. We were just going uh, yes. to the roads for you. I just All got right, done. Well. I'll hop in. All right, let's go. All right, need to start moving a bit. Classic wagons. Oh, oh. god damn it. Oh. All right. <laughs> go yours, Marshall. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no, no. oh, no, it's all started. It's all going wrong. We're after a real good How about I ride behind? Oh, jeez, Smiley. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Oh, oh dear. There we go. I think we go. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Just, just hang in there. <laughs> Alright, just jump in. Jump in. We're good. We're good. You got it. There we go. Jump I in, think we're Walt. all good now. Walt's just standing there. Yeah, Help. I think he's getting his horse. Partners, oh. how are you doing? Eh, not too bad. It's still a bit sore, but that's happened when you're hitting head by a shotgun, so. Mm hmm. How are you? Yes, I'm recovering from my uh, injuries. I'm still trying to find the young lady who's responsible. That sounds fair. Oh. Bye. Bye. Bye, Luke. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. It really is a curse wagon. Yeah, this yes, it is. wagon is you very You stop pushing me off the damn wagon. Uh. <laughs> There we go. Nope, apparently I don't like you on this one. Maybe, maybe you might need to jump in the back. Lou, just jump in the back. Ah, Lou likes it. 
the glue's fit enough to run. Trying to. I tried to get. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right there. You just get right over. Oh. <laughs> you should do it, Luke. Oh, my you got eyes, it, Luke. You got it. I saw you, actor. I, I saw you. You can sit up front. You need to come inside. Uh, all right. Oh, I, you to do it. I think we're good. I think we might be good, actually. <laughs> This is like some sort of initiation thing. Ah, oh, this is this is the uh, uh, you know I was talking about before. We need to do more training. This is training about how to get into a wagon. <laughs> the hardest thing to do in the department. Howdy, Shlee. Howdy, partner. As you're going back to what we we're talking about before, uh, Miss Dolores, I heard. Oh, oh no! Who's driving the wagon? That's not good. Oh, oh dear. Does this happen every time? <laughs> when Smiley's driving, yes. <laughs> oh my god. What, what does... <laughs> did we just lose... What I is think happening? so. What is... What is that actually happening? <laughs> Hurry up. I want to fall out again. Uh, oh. let's, uh, we're just going. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Yeah, in my eyes, he's on the ground, <laughs> right behind. Oh, oh, we stopped oh, again. You deserve that. Oh, you've left something, oh, actor. Oh, dear. Will someone see it? Uh, you deserve that. We're going to be honest, I'm thinking we switched to horses. I think that's the safest option, I think. We might actually get there. You deserve that, Smiley. I didn't deserve anything. You pushed me off the dead wagon eight times. Ah, <laughs> uh, hardness, you got to take me. <laughs> That's so good. Little lift. Uh, Mr. Hughes, jump on Waltz horse. Oh, thank you. Oh, now we can. Lord. Now we can get moved. Yeah, right into, into Julian to Phillips you. today. <laughs> and we're off. Get a ribbon, smaller guy. You're like you, like you. Yeah, could see him around again. He's looking to join the department again. Yeah, see? There you go. You're welcome. Got more control than you think. Well, going back to what we were saying before, uh, yeah. Mr. Morris, I'm surprised you came back after what, uh, what, uh, Mr. Struble was telling me. It sounded like recovery was all, all happiness and bliss. Dropping rubbish as we go. Your own train. How, how did you manage to get your own? What are we doing in roads? Um, you'll see in a second, Mr. Hughes. Okay. Hopefully having a bath. See, I need one. Yeah, I forgot Thanks. to have one. I a bath for you, Walter. <laughs> Smiley, did you notice what I did to my horse? What did you do? I put the white hat on it. What? Wait, wait, why did you, why did you change the hat on it? Because, so, uh... Freeman and I both had, uh, Breton. And I was gonna, uh, have the horse with a white hat for the funeral. Yeah, God, I'm not looking forward to that. It's the no. least thing I've been looking forward to. Me too. Gotta send him off properly though. Well, Dude. I wish I, I wish I had a bigger budget. I still have his hat, by the way. Yeah, uh, I've got some stuff for that. It's all good. We have a sort of gun salute. Yeah, so gotta make sure people good. space out so they don't shoot each other. Oh, that's Where right. Soon we this later this week. I think we're following got you. Clive Freeman's funeral. I'm following you. Oh, I'm following both Back this way. Honestly. Come this way. Come this oh, way. Oh my God. Hey, look, I don't, I don't question the uh, superior beings. That's it. Good I'm night, actor. Have a wonderful sleep. My head's still fucking stuffed. So. Thank you. So I got hit head with a shotgun, but for something I didn't do. Which way we going from here? There we go. Apparently we're in 
blackboard it? We did something? What, what, what do you mean? Apparently, uh, when I was in New York for those couple of deploys that week and a bit, apparently something happened at blackboard. Oh, yeah, Ash, that was it. It the first week. Enough, according to the um, cult and I had, to, I had to try and talk them, talk them down Our like by myself, just to like, try and slow them down. I don't know either. Yeah, that's the 10th half of the line. <laughs> Away. That away. damn no, coffee time. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. So apparently they were shooting guns and we were in the shot at them or something. But apparently they shot all of us. And they still want blood. I was um, Where? I was flicking through the first for no reason, so the first I'm couple of vods recently, yeah, Ash. Yeah. Like just just skimming through uh, just to look like at bits, and I was like, "There's so much stuff I don't remember." They got caught doing something wrong. I tried to explain to them that has been people impersonating us. Yeah, and then you need to take. Straight Howdy. shotgun. It's really fascinating going back and watching. Uh, yeah. Um... The early vods. Pump action shotgun is my favorite. I pretty much own every weapon there is. What's that, Wolf? Wolf. I am. Um... Very, very docile. But yeah, uh, definitely the pump action. Pump action is my favorite weapon. Oh, the feeling when you aim that thing. Oh, feels so good. My Kakano hey. is also my favourite as well, but I don't get to use that as much these days. Yeah, a lot of people don't. I tell you, when you charge a uh, pump shotgun at the back of a suspect's head, they tend to freeze up nice and well. <laughs> yeah, real quick. <laughs> Quite the little mat. That little, yeah. kind of, little sneaky shotgun shell. I've got a... I used to have uh, two Lamats that I used to have, but I don't want them getting stolen, so I'll put them in the bank. I need to write up this uh, report. Yeah, well, we'll just go, we'll go in the doctor's office and uh, I might oh, need a... Uh, leave a horse, might need but... you. Actually, do you want to do it in the sheriff's office? If you're doing the sheriff, we can do, yeah. use that mansion back there too. Oh, oh yeah, the mansion. Oh, let's, let's go do the mansion. The then. mansion's got a lovely upstairs on the balcony. Just gotta flee my horse. Hope no one gets run over. Here I am, mate. I'm just gonna stand over here. I'll keep watch. But yeah, I heard you were living the life when you were recovering. You are fishing, are, you know, sunbathing. <laughs> yes, all those things. Bloody surprised Shuba came back, being honest. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it is a lovely spot where we were. I, I, um, I must say I wasn't very successful on the fishing front. <laughs> That's what he was telling me. But it he was, was saying... still... <laughs> it was yeah. still enjoyable. Yeah, he was telling me that that's the reason he came back because he was sick of uh, not catching fish. It was so very, to catch <laughs> it was very sad, Ash, when he yes, had to go. Mr. Cage. It was uh, very upstairs. disappointing. Upstairs. Right, it was very tough. After you, boys. Yeah, you're quite big now, Lou. Yeah, mate. Exercise paid off. I have. I've been running. Well, you, I'm going to get everybody on the department to run around the county with me one day. It's really nice in here. That's about can fucking run. A, uh, no, I often right. I often stand up here and look out at the world. It's real nice. Oh, it's got even chess. It's a real nice spot. All right, well, uh, Mr. Loris, if you haven't realised why I'm bright, I wanted to see is just uh, I, I, you know, I believe you might remember Mr. Hughes, but he unfortunately he doesn't remember himself. I do, I do. Adam, ma'am. Uh, it's nice to see you. Oh, so I was hoping you. you could maybe uh, give him a look over and try and help us figure out what's wrong with him and how we can get him to, you know, get his member back. Mm, certainly, certainly. All right. Yeah. You, you, we don't have to be around if, we, if it's better for us to be away. It's up to you how you want to yeah. do it. Yeah, come, come inside, Mr. Hughes. There's a lovely couch in the corner. But, 
It's doctor time. Oh, this is very yeah, cozy. Yeah, have a seat anyway. So I believe it's been a... Pardon, ma'am? You've been back a week. It's been a week, yeah. But is, yeah. Are you the doctor I've been bunking in the basement of? Uh, yes, yes. I hope my uh, I hope my basement didn't uh, upset you at all. It was a little concerning at first, but then after time, I really came to enjoy the little, you know, little dioramas you've set up. It's, it's fascinating. <laughs> Yeah, that's my little hobby. I do like a bit of taxidermy, but in a in a fun way. I like to it is fun. fun things. Yeah. Thank you very much for letting me stay there. It gave me a lot of time to just catch up on sleep, to be honest. Oh, I'm pleased to hear it. I'm glad I could provide you somewhere that uh, you felt comfortable and safe. Yeah. So, how's it feel being back? Well, it's it's a little scary considering how 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 big how big this country, you know, living in Guam for the last couple of months, it's, you know, Guam is quite small. It's a different sort of, different environment. It's, um, it's a lot to take in. And then for everybody to, all these people to remember you, but you don't remember them, it's, it can be really overwhelming. Mm, I can, I can imagine it is overwhelming, especially, uh, since you, you don't really have any memories. Is and I, just, I just remember bits and pieces, but that's really it. I'm hoping uh, that, uh, well, you know, with a bit of coaching, a bit of uh, familiarity, those memories will return to you. But, uh, you know, there, there is a, uh, a Sir, possibility that... you leave private property. This is your second warning. Uh, you know, there might be a possibility that you may never get some of those memories back. Training but exercise. Please leave the area. Um, we try not to uh, to worry about those things. <laughs> Thanks for giving it, it to me straight, ma'am. Um, it's what about owned, uh, at the moment, gentlemen. your uh, uh, you leave, how's uh, your sleep and things like that? Please remove your long arms. Better. Um, your long arms. It gentlemen. was in Guam when I. You know, last Please thing I remember down. is, you know, sleeping on my makeshift raft, little islands here and there, eating coconuts. But and then, and then I went straight from that to sleeping on a pretty much a metal bed in a prison cell. And then it, it was weeks until they let me sleep in a normal bed. But uh, so it's it's better. It's better. What about your dreams? Oh. Yeah. A peaceful sleep, or well, I'm, I'm probably talking more about since you've been back now. I definitely, How's your sleeping? I definitely feel more at ease. Like I can get to sleep easier, but I still find myself, you know, waking in the middle of the night. Sorry about that. Sir. Nightmares. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's to be expected. Um, anytime anyone goes through a traumatic experience. Uh, especially a lengthy one, uh, can impart a long-lasting memory. And we call it uh, post-traumatic. So it's basically the body trying to process what has happened uh, to it. So having nightmares is a perfect normal normal thing. I know it it's probably doesn't sound normal and it's probably a bit horrible, but it is a normal reaction um, and something that, uh, you know, you just got to tell yourself that is part of the body processing what has happened to you. I just, I, the thought of being near, uh, out on open water again, it, it, I, I can't bear the thought of that. Mm. It was, I thought I was going to die out there. I, my, my, I, I just remember being out on what was left of my boat, just nothing but open water. And just, I was just so, so thirsty and so hungry and just so confused. Did you, did you, were you, were you on a passenger liner, or I I remember the day you left, but I wasn't uh, wasn't clear as to whether you caught a passenger liner back back to uh, England, or to, were you sailing yourself? Do you have any memories of that? Well, well, I, I it seemed it felt like it was a pretty small boat, like a little steam powered boat. I think, I, I, or was that when I left the country? I just remember waking up adrift 
on just, you know, whatever wood was available and steel and just just island hopping, essentially. Yeah. Buying off crabs and eating coconuts. I can imagine how hard it must have been. Huh. Well, physically you look all right. Um, it's Go more battle just tanker. getting through the mental, mental things that are the confusion that you're going to feel at the moment, and you're probably going to feel frustrated as people try and make you remember. I, I dare say a lot of people are going to say, do, do you remember this, Mr. Hughes, or don't you remember this, and things like that. So it's going to get overwhelming. <laughs> there's a lot of that, and there's a lot of really high expectations. I get told I was a sh sheriff of Strawberry and that I trained this person and did this uh, yeah. and did that, and it's just... It's so much. I understand. Yes. I mean, you, you were, uh, yeah, not to make you feel even more uh, anxious, but you were quite a uh, significant member of the community. Oh, hell. <laughs> but, you know, it's you've got to manage that. Um, you know, I can have a word with the marshal and your colleagues and just say just, you know, easy, easy with the, with the prompting. It's, yeah, it's big boots to fill, but you know, I guess I, I've, I've just, I've heard, I've heard, and I've been shown enough convincing evidence to 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 believe what these fellows are saying. Like they've got an old photo of me, um, you know, same, it's the same face, same gun, um, multiple counts of getting this ceremonial axe from Miss Tala, um. For becoming the law, you know, the sheriff of uh, West Elizabeth, um, multiple counts of me leaving in my little steamboat. I, from what I recall, I was heading up north along the east coast, All right. and the plan was to get up to, you know, uh, New York or just somewhere convenient, you know, up a ways just to find. Get, find a get onto a, a you know a proper ship to take me across the, the yeah. ocean to the uh to europe so that that makes me wonder then if i was if i was on like a passenger liner or something what happened to all the other people and and i'm hearing that some of the people over in guam and knew who i actually was but were playing along with this act i'm, I'm thinking what if what if the, the the boat crash was it wasn't an accident or you know weather or something? What if it was, what if it was deliberate? But it was intentional. Hmm. It's scary. It is a bit scary, yeah. But uh, I've tried not to ask too many questions because obviously your privacy is uh, has been important and keeping you safe has been important over the last week. Oh fuck yeah! I feel ask away, ma'am. I. I <laughs> I've been thinking about. I got all these, all these lawmen <laughs> going on about this and that. But I think maybe, maybe a medical professional would be better. So you do what you got to do, man. I, I just want to get better. Yeah. Look, uh, I'll be honest with you. You know, amnesia of this severity is going to take time. Um, and like I've said to you, you may face a future where you don't get all your memories back and there's going to be blanks um and there will come a time that you will need to consolidate that with that and realize that you know in a way you've probably been granted a, a fresh start um when you think about it that is a positive uh, way of looking at it yeah but i think the most important thing is to not strain too much in trying to to remember um I think in terms of your, of your coming in back into the law, let's try and manage that and manage their expectations. And, you know, you if you're feeling overwhelmed, make sure you turn around and say, look, this is a bit too much, fellas. You know, I'm doing the best I can. From my understanding, they're, they're going to have me basically uh, shadowing some of the, mm. the senior members, just riding along, so to speak. I think that's good. That's very good. Gives you a chance to almost be like a recruit again, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, you know, thinking back on 
some of the silly things they had me doing in Guam. Right? You know, I definitely got a. I feel like I've got a a, a decent grasp of right and wrong, but <laughs> I don't know all these procedures and stuff they must have. I uh, I know I know for a fact a big part of the job is hanging out on the Valentine porch. That's very very important. It is very important, but it's also I. I don't particularly like. Uh, I don't particularly like Valentine. I think it can be too too long standing there in that environment with all. Oh, I'm going to be frank. People in uh, Valentine seem to uh, seem to behave in a in a in a certain way, different to the rest of the county. One would even say some of them have lost their marbles. I don't think I like that town either. <laughs> so. Obviously, you know, you're going to see people that might have caused you uh, some bad memories whilst you're in Guama. I know that there are a lot of uh, a lot of frontier citizens that actually go over there and work for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, well, how are you going to feel when you come across someone that was in Guama with you and may not necessarily have been kind to you? Well... I was confronted with that before we left Valentine, before there was, uh, this lady showed up, a, uh, Miss Hunter, and uh, my, my last memory of her is, I think she might be the wife of Squiz Taylor, who's, he's one of the, he's one of the officers over there, and apparently I have a history with him, and she, she was, she was here, in her Guama uniform, uh, the same uniform they had me wearing. And so I just I just felt really tense. I had my gun ready just in case of anything, but I just mm -hmm. I couldn't find I couldn't find the strength to speak or really do I froze up. Yep. Okay. That's that's you know, again that's perfect normal reaction. And uh that's something you can work on. I just, I, I, I don't know how much she knew, but just the fact that it seems like the commander over there, this Squiz Taylor, and probably Miss Tyler, and and this Frank fella, it just, it's, I, if they, if they were in on it, I just, I, how could, how could someone do that? To somebody like trick them like that well people if they have they want something so there's obviously something going on so they had a plan for you i would imagine oh. um and they wanted there was some sort of gain for them in keeping you in the in the state that they kept you in oh, that's sick there's always something, when people do things like that, they've always got something to gain. When I was first and there, they had me working in a field by myself. Mm. Perhaps there was things that happened before you left that uh, they were maybe enacting some sort of retribution for, or might have uh, might have had something on them. I don't know. These are all things that only time will tell if your memory brings it back. All I've all I've been told is that apparently I was before I left. I'd been you know, history and looking for Squeeze Taylor for a long time. So he seems like the obvious one. You know, you know, if I was after him, you know, as a you know law going after criminals kind of standpoint, I imagine he would find enjoyment getting revenge in some sort of sick way, but. The rest, I just, I. The confusing thing is, if if Miss Tyler was to grant me a ceremonial act on behalf of her people for taking care of that land, but then why would she go along with he me as essentially a a, a, a slave over there? A slave. I, it just doesn't yeah. make any sense. Uh, these are the things that are probably going to heighten your anxiety and make it stressful for you as you struggle to remember. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, people do things that they need to do for whatever reasons. 
Uh, she might have had a good reason, although I can't think of anything why, why you would do that to someone you may have called a, called a friend. Um, has anybody given you, given you a, a notepad to write down any thoughts or memories that you have? Uh, no. That might be a, a good way to capture... The things that are go that you're thinking. Uh, just a couple on I suppose if I could, uh, you know, remember. Stand it. If I, you know, if I have some uh, kooky dreams and I wake up in the middle of the night and I might, I might remember something. I, I could jot it down before I forget it. Yeah, I think it wouldn't hurt just to, uh, just to get things out, write things down, random memories. Sometimes memories come on when you least expect them, especially when you're, you're going through a bit of uh, the post-traumatic stress. It's not just your dream. Sometimes in your waking hours, you can uh, you can have flashbacks. Uh, they're all perfectly normal things to happen. Mm, uh, sometimes having a journal uh, to jot those things down can help. Uh, I can get I can get that. It's, I hope they come back. So the, the main... The main things I can remember is just this whole mountain man ordeal. This, I don't know who the hell he was. It, it's terrifying. I, I when I sometimes I see him, and I, I collapse. Is this in your dreams? I or... don't. I I don't know. Okay. Unfortunately, uh. That uh, was before my time, so I don't really know much about it. But I know that uh, you know your you know, your close mates like Lou, etc., and talk to them about it. Well, I'll just have to pry, and hopefully something I, will click. Uh, yeah, I mean, did Lou tell you about? And I must confess, I was a bit skeptical of this. Um, that, uh, he's, yeah, he's been having sightings and things like that. Oh. So maybe there is something there. Maybe there isn't. I mean, you all share a common, a common thing there. Could be just your subconscious dragging up a hidden memory or a hidden anxiety. I'll have to ask them more. He, he's dead. He's supposed to be dead. I believe so, yeah. I believe he is, but I don't think you're the only one who's uh, been having thoughts about the mountain man. Oh, dear. <laughs> is, is that a good, good or a bad thing? <laughs> oh, Depends. Depends on how it manifests itself in a person and what your reaction is to it. I mean, it's na perfectly natural to have memories of, of unresolved things. Uh, I mean, especially the from what I've heard about that whole story, it wasn't a particularly pleasant one. So, you know, of course those memories are going to stick with you. And sometimes things that have happened can be triggered, thought, the memories and thoughts of those things past uh, things can be re-triggered with new conflict. So it's not, not, the mind is a strange thing at the end of the day. It's, uh, <laughs> it throws up all sorts of things when you least expect it. It's like you could be sleeping in the middle of the night and wake up in the middle of the night and think, have I, you know, think of something that happened to you when you were a child and then you start stressing over it. <laughs> That's how silly the mind is. I'm definitely, definitely learning how silly the, the mind can be over the last week. That's for sure. It's, yeah, I just want to get better again. I don't want to just feel... Ah. Again, I think you need to allow yourself some time. It's only been a week. Uh, it's a lot of pressure to put on yourself to want to remember straight away. Yeah, You've been through a very traumatic experience. The fact that you've had such memory loss and you're dealing with it and you've been pushed and pulled... So lots happened to you and you need to give the mind time to settle down and process and at least feel a little at peace that you're in a familiar environment or what should be a familiar environment. All right. Well, that all makes a lot of sense, Doc, and it, it's really helping 
put in perspective and sort of I'm feeling less guilty of not remembering things straight away. I got to just give it time. Give it time. And look, if if you feel like too many people are trying to shove memories to you, then, you know, you, you don't have to don't have to allow them to do that. You can just say, wait up, fellas. I'm struggling here. I, you know, it's very, it's, it's, it's becoming a little bit over, overpowering to me. Let me, let me just digest this before we, you throw anything else on me. Okay. They've, they've and, been, yeah. they've been better at it today. This is, yeah, last week. <laughs> it was, everything was getting thrown at me. Like, you don't remember, you did this. This is such and mm-hmm. such. And, this and that, it's like, well, yeah. one oh, thing oh. at a time. Yeah, I'll have a word with them and just let them know just to ease up with it. That, I mean, they're excited. They uh, they loved you and everyone missed you. So to have you back is great joy for them. So it's, I can understand their excitement to get you get you uh, on your feet. But, I, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, I get it. But physically you're looking okay. Um, Possible. Yeah, you've come through your ordeal very well. Thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate it. Again, you not only let me stay in the basement, but you're taking the time. Oh, you're so welcome. I really you're appreciate welcome. it. To interrupt, we've got a bit of a medical emergency. Okay, no problem. Oh, that's good timing. All right, so. All right. Oh, who's this? Uh, found this I'm... boy tucked away. I'll let, I'll let Walter explain that. Uh... Found him unconscious behind the general store. Yeah, okay. he was next to his horse and a stack of wood. Oh, I've checked him for wounds. Haven't found anything yet. All right, let me give him one. What the fuck is and... this? It's a bit odd. I don't see anything straight away. Who the? F- You're right here. I'll go back on. Uh... Yeah, I'm Control. right. I'm right. Thank right. you. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I might get some air. Good fire. It's good away in a weird spot. Yeah, good fire, Walter. That, that boy might not have been found for days. Oh, I think I see set an apartment. So I want to go get him. Oh, amazing RP. Hey, Ash. Oh, can do it. Oh, well. well. Dolores is well, killing Well, do you want to go get them? Because they're going to be going on a wild goose chase. That was so well handled. Well, you hear me? Go, go yes, get sir. them. They're like, going to be really on a well handled. Like that. Wild goose chase. She did great. How you going, Mr. Hughes? Good. Now, she, uh, she's really great to talk to, and she's a great listener. <laughs> yeah, definitely is. Oh, what, uh, did she help you? Do you remember anything, or...? Not really, but she sort of helped put things in perspective with how these things take time, and to just sort of take it easy, you know... That's good. And well, just keep I, at it. I think, if as long as it's fine with Mr. Loris, I might, for the next while, get you, uh, having these little talks with her and just help you and... You know, for worst case scenario, it's going to help you process these things. So I'm sure. Look, I, I'll be honest. I know I've been impatient, but I must. I do understand you're probably going through a lot. Yeah, she sort of anticipated that. She also suggested I should get a, a you know, essentially a journal and a pencil or whatever, and just jot down things if things come to mind. When I wake up in the middle of the night, just write things down. You can get you one from Blackwater. You gonna start becoming a writer or something? Hope not. I uh, can write little bits and pieces, and then I can, so I don't forget them, and I can talk about them at these, at these sessions to hopefully make sense of it. Oh, you, can, you imagine that, boys? The bibliography of Mister Hughes. Okay. <laughs> what an exciting Boy, adventure! I hate to see what my uh, my character would look like in that. <laughs> it's Frank. Frank. Frank! Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, Frank. Let's go make sure uh, Mr. Loris is alright.
Anything about this town remind you of anything, Mr. Hughes? Nope. It's nicer than Valentine, though. And if it's it nicer than Valentine. <laughs> you don't remember the uh, red coats that used to sit on the bank steps? Cozzies. Cozzies. Let me guess. They uh, wore, Mr. Timmy. They wore red coats? Oh, yes. Yeah. It's very on the nose. Well, where's the wolf? Who are these people coming? I don't know, I ran into, I haven't ran into in a very long time. You don't remember uh, the old mayor of this town, Jethro? No. Was he a good mayor? He was good. Yeah, he was. Yeah, you remember Julian Phillips, Lord? No, not the Okay. Hey, George would remember him if he could. It was around where Mr. Wolf was with us. It's something different, I just ran into something the, unique. He wants to rejoin the force. Yeah, right. Well, it's going to be a, a bushwookie. Oh, yeah. But then he had to leave. I couldn't hear you for some reason. Do you want to send the board out with them? Yes, yeah, fine. Uh, is Oddick Street in you, George? Oh, I haven't... I haven't, I haven't taken it for a ride yet, unfortunately. Should treat you well. He was, um, uh, Levi's horse. Who was Levi? A uh, Levi Blaze. He, uh, just before he left... Yeah, out of the, Levi Sykes. Just before he left, he, um, handed the horse off to you. Well, I'll bet have a look. There's, there's a stable down there, isn't it? Yes, yeah, just down there. So, oh, I suppose while I've got a minute, I'll take a look. Um, Fucking dark, I just see. So getting him in the stable. How do I get down? Yeah. Friends, not not. That it. You know, <laughs> our line of work is not exactly stable. No, I know. Uh, if having constant friends, like having his friends around. Who's the? Who's this way, Missy? Hey Frank, who's that other guy? In there? Not Frank. Um... That's right, Ash. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I Still felt. Be around here somewhere. <laughs> this guy wants to give me a cart. No, no, around here. Hang on. Uh, right where I'm standing. There you go. Right there. Um, so, unfortunately, we'll have to get rid of George because he's. Left in Guama. Goodbye, George the Mule. Eeyore should be dead by now. Missy. Where does it, does it, where does it say their age? So I think Missy died. The Onyx was the last horse I actually... That means my original horse, Georgie, that I gifted to to Brox, might still be alive if he, when he returns to the server.
Oh. Jesus. Is there anything in the saddlebag? <laughs> okay, here we go. Come in, Harkness. You stand. So I find it's been well taken care of. <laughs> Seems like a little oh, oh, oh. Ah! Ah! They kicked both of us! Mother! Ah! Bad horse! You fucking you cheeky bugger! Oh my god. Howdy, Bob. Kicked both of us. Howdy! You remember Frank? Oh, yeah, howdy, howdy, Frank. Howdy, Hughes. How you go? Oh, you know, a little bit better, but you know, still, still getting there. Yeah, you'll get there. Damn horse! I think it seemed like it's real well behaved, and then he kicked us in the face. I can't believe it kicked both of us. What a, what a naughty horse! So what's the plan now? We wait for Marshall. See what he has to do next. He's uh. I'm still talking to Dolores. I might take Onyx for a spin just quickly around the town and I'll, I'll be right back. I'll do a lap. Gotta get the. Do the horses have ages now? Still? How can you tell how old the horses are? Also, hello, Wolfie. Sorry, I was meant to say hello before. Tells you in style? I can see him. I'm having a look. Yeah, look There's the spot. Oh! Oh! Here. So you got race, sex, speed, acceleration, handling, shoe state, and bonding level. There's nothing else. <laughs> right click when it's out. It was a howdy dig dome. Howdy, partner. looking for don't you kick me again that's the only info that's coming up whoa there easy don't stop it stop being silly 
<laughs> Find out in character. <laughs> Easy. Slash, calm down. No. Come on. No. No, 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 no. Calm down, honey. Calm down. Stop it. Come on, baby, see you. Silly, silly Onyx. You're being a, you're being a real silly Billy. The, the, the silliest of boys. All the pats. Constant patting will increase the bonding, right? Oh, who's there? Who, me? I'm on the rear. Oh, this is a uh, lieutenant. Howdy, sir. Oh, Louis. How are you, brother? Not bad, so feeling a lot better. How you doing? You yeah, good, man. Nice, good to you. So, I need to borrow my friend over here. Oh, you're right. I was just, just uh, trying to help him out with something. Yeah, you good. Good, uh, come with me, sir. Rub my head before you go, though. Don't don't leave me hanging now, Louis. Rub rub my head before you go now. Oh, Mr. Louis, Louis, he wants you to rub his head. Give me a little rub on the head now, Louis. Then I'll let you be. You ain't leaving <laughs> till you rub this gorgeous head. There you go, mate. Thank you, brother. Better give me luck with that rubbing of the bald head, mate. <laughs> no, it's bad luck, actually. Next ten years, you're gonna stub Damn. your toes. Oh, jeez. Both of them. I wish you told me that before I rubbed your head. <laughs> I jump in to see his. All right. I want you to tell me what you remember of your training. Or if you can remember anything of the training. I, I, I don't think I remember anything. I remember anything. All right. I'm just, I'm just, just doing stuff. I, I don't know if it's coming from somewhere. I, I get maybe subconsciously. I'm just, I'm just doing stuff. I'm not really thinking about it. I can't recall. That's all right. Do you remember how to fight? Yeah. You do? Well, to, in a way. Alright. Just need to make sure you know how to defend yourself a bit. Especially if we have people coming after us, you know. Alright. Alright, I want you to hit me, Mr. Hughes. Nice. Again. 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 Nice. Again. Nice. Again. All right. I still see you pack a punch. That's good. All right. Can you block? Uh, how do that? Flex your. You think about your arm muscle. Okay. When I hit you. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Very nice. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. It's all right. Three, two, one. Very nice. Three, two, one. Fuck. That's all right. All right. Hit me again. Nice. Again. 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 Very nice. All right. I want you to keep swinging now. Me? Keep swinging. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. 
Keep going. Don't stop. I, I can't right, get through. It. It. There you go. Oh, there you go. All right, that's it. All right, good work. Now I'm going to do the same to you. Think about your arm muscle all the time, okay? Okay. Three, two, one. Very impressive, Mr. Hughes. If you say so. Uh, Lou, remember I did this last time. I didn't no, no, it. I'm not. I'm just teaching, making sure he remembers how to block and hit. I'm not. Uh, I'm not actually fighting with him. Just making sure his reflexes are fine, and he knows how to defend himself. He seems fine to me. Physically, he's fine. All right, Mr. Hughes, let's show uh, Mr. Smiley what I taught, taught you. Okay. All right, you're gonna block, okay? Block. He's blocking his fine. Alright, hit me. Ah! Alright, that's it. Alright, he still packs a punch. That's what I like to see. Good work, Mr. Hughes. If you say so, thanks. I guess Guava didn't make you soft. Oh, hell no, didn't. He still hurts. He's got that, that's for sure. I mean, physically, I think. He seemed fine, Mr. Hughes, physically, which is good. Yeah. Uh, so, i got a question for you, uh, Mr. Hughes. Yeah. Uh, now, let's say you you arrive to a bank, and there's uh, two boys in there with masks on. They got a, they got a hostage with them. How would you uh, proceed knowing that information? I'd want to save the hostage, but if it's just me and there's two of them, they might, they might pull a bit of a trick or something on me. So I guess I'd, I'd want to, you know, make sure I'm safe, but I'd try talking to them first. And, uh, what, what, ma what matters more? Those two boys being, uh, put in jail or that hostage? Oh, be nice to do both. Well, what if you can only choose one, partner? Ugh. Well, those you know, people doing that, they deserve what they get, but I guess it's all for nothing if the hostage is dead. That's it, partner. That is 100% correct. How much? How, how much? How much money you think your last worth? A uh, hundred bucks. Definitely not worth a hundred bucks. It was I, I, I risked. We risked almost anything to get you back. So I can tell you, it's all. It's definitely not worth that much. I was gonna say maybe three fifty. Uh, God, it was. Work, work with me here. <laughs> that's that's humor, Hughes. You're supposed to laugh at it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it sounds like a pretty solid number to me. God damn it. Well, all right, let me pose another situation to you. Okay. You, uh, uh you're walking through a town, and you, uh, start seeing a fist fight happen in the town. Do you, uh, proceed with that? What town is it? It doesn't matter. Any town. Valentine. I believe. It's different. You'll leave. No, I'm, j I'm joking. So, so why I'm in. I'm, I'm so in. he does. He does. He still can. He doesn't know what a joke is. It does looks like it. So I'm in Valentine and people find in the street. Great. Well, I'll tell them to cut it out. And let's say they just keep punching around while you punching each other while that happens. What do you do then? I don't know. I, Ask for uh, ask for assistance breaking them up. Ask, ask for, but, Pony, you need to start showing some gusto. You're Lord of Palmer. Yeah, well, I'm only one guy. What yeah, if they both but, start hitting me? Well, we try to make sure we're never alone. We always try to have backup. But you said I was walking through the town alone. I didn't say anything about being alone. I thought you said I was. I thought you implied it. You put right, words in my mouth. You've got me with you. You've got me with you. Oh, well, then I asked Lou to break him up. We, we, uh, you know, grab 
one of them each and pull them apart and tell them to stop. Uh, All right. right. So what if they uh, continue to to punch each other while we told them to stop? Oh, I suppose we tie them up with a rope and wait for them to cool down and ask them what the hell they're fighting for. By golly, I think. Pardon? I think you got it. Well, I'm having some issues with my head. Uh, yeah. yeah. A little bit. That's my ear. Out of there, boys. Got it. Who? Yeah, good. I like your matching shirts. Who's talking? Uh, let me. Buttery over there. Seems buttery, Jerome. All right. Well, what's a what else, What's another little little quiz we can give him? Um. There's one. Ah, uh, no, that's not that's not what's a good that? quiz. Hey, what? Ah, uh, there's one. Someone's got the U.S. Marshal held hostage, and they've got their person in the jail cell. What would you do what then? What do you do there, Mr. Hughes? Well, someone's got a marshal hostage, and they're asking for someone, like a that. friend, to be released from a, 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 a jail? Yes. And they say they're going to shoot him if you don't do anything. You got to give him back. Well, I'd, I don't know. I don't think it'd be good to have a marshal die. I guess Very I'd be good. looking to meet their requirements within reason. Try and avoid the bloodshed, I guess. Holy shit. Feel like I'd be in a bit of trouble if Marshall died. Yeah. Excuse me. This boy's looks like common sense is still with him. Alright. All right, Final can you look at me for a sec? Final one, Mr. Hughes. Oh, oh my. Feels better. That was a cheap shot. He knows what that's for. So, final one. Let's say you're a corporal. Alright. And let's say a marshal comes up to you and says, Hey, I need you to go patrol uh, Valentine. Uh. And then a senior a senior deputy turns around to you and says, Hey, let's go up to the uh, roads. Who do you listen to? The higher rank. Oh, by golly, he's got it. Well, I'll be honest, pilot. You've 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 managed to impress me at least with what you've answered. So, what I'm gonna say to you, and, and this is up to you, Mr. Hughes. I ain't gonna tell you what to do or not to do. If you, I want you to ride along with the uh, law department, kind of uh, get your bearings back, get you back on that horse. And if you would like, you, I'll I'll give you your job back as a starting off as a corporal. But if you you you, you know you. You, you show me that you still remember everything, and it looks like it's coming back to you pretty quickly, the job, so if you keep th talking that, we'll bump you back up to Captain. Sure, I'd be willing to give it a go. All right, well, I'm going to make... Lou's going to kind of take you under his wing, so... And when Lou's not around, uh, Mr. Shrew will be taking you under his wing, so... Okay. You'll get very acquainted with them, too. All right. All right, well... I got nothing else to add here. Lou, you Uber, you, you boys want to, got something you just want to take them off to do? Or, or you, you want to take them for a little patrol? It's up to you. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can, see if I can remember anything else, really, that I can uh, help you remember. I just remember not to overwhelm the boy. Yeah, All right. Course. I'm going to quickly go uh, grab a quick eat, uh, eat a bite and uh, drink yep. and... Uh, I'll be back and I'll probably catch up with y'all a bit later. Have fun. All right. Multiple steaks and the glass of wine and tea. Cigar and a uh, cigar and a uh, whiskey oh, for uh, afterwards. Sits in that gold-plated bathtub. Man's on constant patrol. I don't know.
Where's right. Winnie? You should go with the uh, other patrol. Uh, Winnie caught the train. Ah. Alright, maybe we can, um... Maybe we can pull the boat out. Maybe we can have a little chat. No boat. No boats. No, no boats. Why? Go on. Uh. Um, just, uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think that's advisable at the moment. Okay. I don't, I don't think Mr. Hughes would appreciate being on a boat right now. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. I forgot. What about Little Valley? I'm oh, sorry, Big Valley, Little Creek. Hi! Hey, Better yet, Mr. Hughes, what would you like to do? Yeah. Hun? What would, you like to do? what would you like to do? I oh, just ride along, I guess. You know, right, but it is there somewhere you want to see or go? I I don't know. I don't know where everything is. I just, I'll take it as it comes. Uh, well, maybe you should uh, take him on a tour of all the town centres. Then maybe not Saint Denis, but. Yeah. yeah, not there. Well, maybe. Actually, we're going to go to Oh, we well, walked us there. We fought. Be enough well, us. And I remember Mr. Hughes when we go on patrol. You used to tell me never forget Emerald Ranch. Always be sure to check there. It's nice, sure. is it? Oh, yeah. let's go there. They have good apple pie there right now too. Oh, he, wants, he wants some apple pie. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> We're going to uh, Emerald Ranch. You want to come? All right. I just got a telegram from uh, Ingo Petch. Give me one sec, gentlemen Sorry. and ladies. Let's go to the department. I know no, it's going to it. If you want to come along. Go, Mr. Walter. So. I just need, need to make a quick pit stop at the uh, telegram station. Sir, long arm off your back, please. Yeah, long yeah, arm off your back. yeah. No problem. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Let me chuck it. it on my horse. No Go problem, calm buddy. down, Betty. Thank you, sir. Appreciate hey, your cooperation. Hey, how are you? Oh my God, it's that guy. Up your eye. I don't think I've met him as Hughes. That's that I guy. Give you two guesses, but you only need one. Howdy. Howdy. I've been meaning to do another Valdemar, right, another a quick pit stop here, boys. proper Valdemar stream soon. Maybe, maybe Friday night or Sunday night. One of my Twitch friends, that's Witchy. She's considering um, trying out the server, and she'll probably stream as well. She's thinking Sunday nights. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what sort of. Maybe you fellas are right on the train if you want to. What sort of character she's gonna be going for, and I'll that see if like maybe. Yeah, just that. Maybe I introduce her to the country as Valdemar Sunday night or something. We'll see. I'll see what she wants to do. Darkness, did you get a new horse? The fetch. I no, had this one for a bit. Hmm. Interesting pattern. Interesting yeah, coat. So smiley. Dolores got her train out the other day. Yeah. She let me go inside her caboose. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nope. Nope. Oh my goodness. Gentlemen. Honestly, it's, it's like a little cabin. It's got a bed in there and a little typewriter stand. It's real nice, actually. Marshall, can you hear me? Sure can. You hear me back there, Marshall? Sure can. Uh, Ingo Perch gave me a book and told me to read it. I'll take uh, a look at it later. Yeah, you might need to uh, fill me in. 
Yeah. Once you read it. I will do. Alright, let's go to Emerald Ranch. Hep, hep. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've gotten so used to riding around alone as Valdemar. It feels weird riding in a group again. Oh, Ash, I've seen. I have seen. Kills me. Kills me every time I see it. You don't ride out in the way of the lead horse. That's that's the main one. Because they need to be able to turn left or right, drop of a hat. You need to be able to follow. You can't do that. I think we're missing Walt. You're in the way. You can tell. Uh, well. It's okay. No, he's over there. He's All coming. Crash his horse. Surprise. remember what so yeah Levi Sykes gifted me this horse I can't remember which server he went to I think he's a sheriff or a marshal of another server now you know I don't think I've ever seen a train go through a boat station no. yeah not very rarely. we we do do deliveries to emeralds but we will then up the line and go through Valentine. I take it back. I've seen it once because we remember we were out here around Valentine's Day somewhere yeah. near there. Mm -hmm. I take it back. I've seen it once. The reason being is that for most of us, it it make, makes us have to go through Saint Denis twice uh, to get back to our station. Now, Mr. Hughes, do you remember that Frank you were telling me about? Yeah. This used to be his place, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. Jeez. Those are not hackers? Yeah, that's right. It used to be his. You guys always told me he's the one that makes the meat pies, but you never see him. I do, do miss those meat, 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 meat pies. Holy, you couldn't get that out. Apparently, yeah, he's could huh. Oh. Huh. Why would, you, why would someone give up all this to move to Guama? No idea. Painful. What's there to do around here? Uh, there's, you can farm. You can uh, throw throw sticks. Have the ball. It's Walt doing. You can do like walk Walt and just run around in circles. I hear one of the ranch hands here is having an affair with one of the sheep. Jeez. <laughs> That uh, doesn't surprise me at all.
careful with this guy. He's very angry. And a partner? Oh, he doesn't really have anything to say. Oh, there's a dog. He's angry. He's angry. So calm down. Calm down. I told you to calm down, sir. Yeah, calm down, sir. One of the ranch hands got a bit angry, so I just put him in timeout. Mm -hmm. like, what are you doing here? That's all right. He's uh, he's always angry. He has. He never has anything nice to say. Never. Now it's all like, oh, help me, help me, since I'm in hog ties. Hey, it's a nice area. Ah, well. Oh, here he comes. Hey, excuse me, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. What's wrong? You wanna? Let's do this. Oh. So I'm gonna ask you to stop. I'm gonna ask you to stop one more time. One more time. Right? I warned you. <laughs> I warned him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you just put it, you, you just pushed him down like a tree. Yep, oh. yeah, I did. I should have caught out timber. <laughs> well, I, I, I can't hear properly. It's still, it's still yeah, working. some uh, getting some weird little issues with my eyes. Did you get yourself an apple pie, Mr. Hughes? Where do you get that? Tell me, I'll get you one. Just up to the tent there. Oh. Goldie's an excellent cook. I highly recommend the roast mutton. Oh. You have to wait on me. You tell me what you'd like, Mr. Hughes. Oh, the apple pie seems to be all the rave, so I guess to try one of them. I'll give you some apple pies once I this is finished. Uh oh. Did I lose everyone? No. Oh. Uh, so yeah. oh, okay. Oh. oh, that was funny. What happened? <laughs> I went up to Walter and I said, I got a present for you, and I gave him an apple pie. And then I said, I heard you like warm apple pies for things. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Bloody hell. The law, a legal code that stops you and Shruba hanging out with each other because you're both <laughs> becoming a, a bad pair. Yeah, this is. A minute. That was Walter told a story, not me. Oh, it was Walter. Fuck it. It was Walter. It's your pocket number. It don't, doesn't surprise me, though. Uh, 108. Oh, smiley. What, it, what happened? Uh, I can't tell you what Walter's done. He's a very disturbed individual. Oh, thanks. Don't, don't tell me that. He had, uh, I can't say that. Oh, yummy. Let's give this a try. Barbecue ribs, some meat pies, and some more juice. He had a relationship with his sister. There you go. Uh. Oh yeah, that's awesome. not bad, isn't it? Do you want anything, Dolores? Well, not not off the oh, news no, I just I'm heard. <laughs> what? Let me guess something about Walt and his sister. What, what the oh, hell? Drink it. Do we know if the cider kin is alcoholic or not? It isn't. It's uh, have not. A drink. All right, perfect. Have a drink, Cuba. 
You know what, Truba, I, I'd consider if, if you're drinking, it does get you a little buzz. I, I promise I won't fire you. <laughs> That's what someone would say if they were about to fire me. Oh, so close. I, I almost yep. had him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nope, you cannot pull that on me. Alright, so nothing about this place, Mr. Hughes? Uh, it's, man, it's not, it's nice. Mm. I can see why it'd be important to stop by. You don't want to, you want to, you know, protect places like this. Right, yeah, you, you told me that when we do patrols, a lot of folks forget about Emerald Ranch. And oh. we had to make sure that the folks that live there knew that we were around to help them. Hey. Yeah, no, I can see why. I can see why I would have said something like that. Yeah. Nice, honest folk making a living out in a nice place like this. You gotta, yeah, you gotta do everything you can to help. Exactly. Until they move to Guam, huh? Uh, Prick. Frank. I want to meet Still knows he's fucking apple pie. Still knows he's a body meat pie, that boss. Yeah, well, you know, he's in Guam, I've been. Oh, you one too, apparently. Apparently, I've never managed to get. Mr. Hughes is telling me about French. Huh. Thank you. Apparently, apparently, Frank was being nice to him, apparently, was he? Or... Frank is a nice man, though. He What's... had. Under the command, he had. Uh, Squiz, Tyler, and Frank. Fucking Squiz. I get Squiz, but Frank and Tyler? Yeah. Fucking jizz. Mate, squeeze. Excuse me? Nothing. Uh, no comment. I heard nothing. No one heard that one. Oh. Alright, nope. well. Okay. What the hell was that? Bird. I sighed. All right. Well, what are you thinking now, uh, Lou, Truba? Thinking. Um, Hughes mostly was assigned to West Elizabeth, so maybe Manzanita Post. We never really went out that way too much. Well, we, uh... we used to pass through tall trees when we'd head from strawberry, or near tall trees when we'd head through strawberry, then down to Blackwater. Hey, we can go there. So maybe Manzanita, maybe the smells of the air and yeah. calls of the birds and the pronghorns. Just got to watch out for bears. Oh, yeah. bears. Fuck that. that. Fuck bears. Sure, yeah. whatever, whatever you reckon. Here we go. Careful of the stampede. Back to your horse. Oh. <laughs> ah! Onyx! <laughs> Take a while to get back on that horse. <laughs> Mr. Hughes. Alright, two men's in leader. This is a very naughty horse. <laughs> Someone should go back and get Walt. I know Walt is on his way. It's quite nice. I should spend a lot of time out here, hunting. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. 
Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Come with me, Mr. Hughes. Okay. I took Winnie the other the other week. How'd that go? Honestly, that fellow is damn straight with the bro. Yeah, he he got Oh, it was probably 200 yards shot. Yeah, um right in the head of a goat. Oh, Fuckers, careful, there's a fence there, mate. Now, yeah, Mr. Hughes, by any chance yeah, you remember much. the uh, Ripley brothers? Oh, no. Nope. So, Jeremy... No, not the Ripley brothers, the Coleman brothers. Ger Ripley Coleman and Jeremy Coleman. Their last oh, name shit. was Coleman? Coleman, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. That's yeah, a funny God. last name. So, uh... Jeremy was... used to uh, train our horses for us. All right. Little shy fellow. Very timid. Did he train Onyx here? He trained all of our horses. I remember him, big, bushy beard, long hair. Always wore a poncho. No. So, uh, all right. Well, back to Manzanita. Hey, horse. I totally did not think that. Uh huh. Uh huh. That fucking hurt. Meow. I like the country air. It's you. Yeah, it's it's nice and it's generally a lot less sweaty than Guama. That's good tonight. Very good. I'm going a bit off road here. But I want those uh, sneaky Delobos attacking us. Oh? Mexican gang. Ten Mexicans. Oh, the what gang? The the Bobos or something. The Directos. What's this spot? Once we get to the bridge, Mr. Hughes, we're gonna ride fast, okay? Okay. I'm gonna make a quick stop at Blackwater, get you a notepad and a pen.
I see a crash. Someone's off. fallen off. Oh. Sorry. Why did you stop? Someone fell off the bridge. Ah. Are you right? Yeah. I'm gonna go down and hit get that first. Ah. Sorry, Mr. Gers. It's a narrow bridge. Why would you, why would you stop like that? <laughs> Someone fall off the bridge. <laughs> also, Battle Tanker, dude, I, I, I really got to tweak my Steam notifications so that I don't what get, the? they don't appear on the screen, but I still see the notification because I did not see your message last night. Ah, fuck! Until I'll it was too it. late. I'm. I just can't. I don't like the Steam things popping up over what I'm streaming, and I don't like it being like bloop. But I still gotta know it's happened. I gotta. I gotta find a way of doing it. Where, uh, where is Lou down there? I think he said he's going for someone that fell off the bridge. Oh, hey. What the hell happened? Uh, Smiler's horse decided to try to unalive itself. Oh Jesus Christ. I think someone's been under a bit too much stress. Uh, I'm trying to f see where he's taken him. Can you see which shoreline? Uh, those are birds. Oh no, my god. Where's he gone? Um I need to get down there. I don't know. Hughes, come on, here. Horse, horse, no. Onyx, stop! Stop! Oh dear. Dangerous. Oh my god. <laughs> well, guns out there are riders up there with guns out as well. Right up. Can you can you hear me? So, oh, that's not good. I think the big question is, can you remember who he is? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm fine. I brought the lords down. Holy shit! <laughs> Yeah, tanker, that would. Oof. Oof. Not the gonads. Why did you jump? <sighs> Grabbed him before he got taken out by the car. His legs look calm. Not meant to be like that. What happens when you jump after a horse that fell off a bridge? So. <laughs> we have to here's a US Marshal. They fall off bridges, they fall off canyons. 
Close that to the Fordian glaciers. Can't take them anywhere. I think you're right, Battle Tank. He needs to stay on, stay down. It's okay, Lou. He'll go back to New York and get his um, nice coffee from his lady that helps him. I, was that him or was that Ames? I can't remember. Remember there was one time Ironjaw and I were forced to jump off you do that, Smiley? the bridge. Well, hey, he's up uh, on the ridge over watching. Did he help Dolores? Uh, Dolores, are you there? Ah. Uh. Fellas, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Want us to yep. hold him down? Yeah, I need someone to go find. Uh, sorry, I was I was giving instructions, but my voice was failing me. Uh, I need someone to go find uh, two sections of uh, tree. Uh, I need to set his leg, so I need something straight. One sec. One Give on either up. side. Do you want me to hold it out? Uh, yeah, if someone could uh, find that for me, and then uh, I'm going to have to set his leg. He's got bone coming out, so. Okay, hold on. I want to hold his leg straight. Yeah, yeah. Yep. No, we need the tree branches. I need guys. the tree branches. Yeah, okay. I need I need something strong to uh. All right, I got straight. it. Thanks. You go. You go right. I... All right, we'll do this for a bit of pain. Uh, thankfully, there's not the, much blood. Mexican... It's a clean break, but it's just a nasty break. He's going to be hobbling around for a while. That session and in Mexico, just... Ash, was so good. He'll go back to New York, sit in his chair, yeah. and get his, um... He's got something called a, uh... A later helps him. I forgot the word. A maid. Not a maid, it's, um... A typing lady. Oh, uh, an assistant? Yes. Okay, good. I'll tie yes. him up around his leg. All right, I'm going to... Okay, here's the bandage. I've cleaned it. I've put some cocaine paste in. We just need to set it. And uh, I might put some stitches in as well just to close that hole up. All right. Um, Do we hold about... his shoulders? Hold him yeah, down. hold him down just in case he comes to. Oh, I put it next to Dolores yeah. on the ground. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm just going to... This is going to be really painful for him, so I can't do it too fast. I need to make sure I set this right. All right. You ready, gentlemen? Grab his belt and let him bite on the belt. <laughs> He's not really with us right now. Oh. He's uh, passed out. And um, I was saying, I don't know about you fellas, but I can smell a bit of alcohol and it's not the whiskey that I just applied. Oh, Nothing fucking you there. Fucking Marshalls. That's where they spend all their money. All right, do we after Dolores? Oh, got his shoulders. So. All right, here we go, fellas. I'm gonna. I'm moving. I'm moving his leg. Oh, it's a slight little twist. Oh, that's probably a good thing. He's out cold. This would be very painful as I slowly maneuver this bone back in. Okay, okay, we got it. We got it. All take right. A take a look at champ, sir. Okay, you're good, you're good. I'll give you some uh, bit of pain relief in a minute. I just need to set that leg. Try not... So I need a bit of pain, Marshall. You'll be right. Let's go. Oh, no, Pass that for pain or alcohol, though. All right, I'm just going to set the uh, two... Tie off two bandages, top and bottom, and then I'm going to quickly pop a stitch in just to... Uh, Close up this wound. Not much blood, which is a good thing. 
All right, let's high off that is and get to uh All right, I'm just going to do a couple of quick little stitches here just to shut this up and then uh, I'll wrap the whole leg up with uh, with bandages and someone's going to need to take him back. Oh, I can chuck him on my horse. All right, Smiley, you've taken a tumble off a bridge. You broke your leg. I've had to reset it. Oh, what a good person. Yeah, look, this is... Uh... She's fine. Yeah, she's fine. Probably probably doing a lot better than you are. Oh. Yeah, you could have just gone to the stables and like, got her back. Take him no, you thought stable. you could fly. Oh, no. oh, Mr. Lawrence said there was deep water. Yeah, look, we could have told you. No, right there. <laughs> just, so early, I was just trying to be nice to you about your horse. I <laughs> mean, go jumping off bridges. Oh, and don't go chasing man. waterfalls either. You're not dusty. Yeah. Never take you to doctor's advice again. Listen <laughs> to the rivers like you used to. Oh, my goodness. Good one, All right. This leg's set. You're you're off your feet for a few weeks. I'm afraid it's nothing but uh, rest. Rest for you. That's what he normally does. He always just sits on his ass in the marshal's office anyway. So he can put his feet up back in New York. Did you rip up my nice pants? Are they fine? They're fine. They just uh... got holes in them. Yeah. And a bit of blood. <laughs> All right, someone's gonna need to take him back. He's uh, oh, oh, he's not, not fit to uh. Oh, hey, oh, thanks for the thanks I'll for the work, Obi Wan Kenobi. Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh, uh, that'll do. Uh, General oh, Kenobi, I can't really walk. Oh. <laughs> Does anybody have his pants? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll take you I, in the back of my hall. I can't say I carry spare <laughs> pants. Well, stand up for a second. <laughs> All right, just give me a second. Oh, just be gentle, at least. Oh, let me gentle. Jesus, stop working out. God, all that working out. I need to work out. Be gentle. Oh, be gentle, mate. Where's Onyx? <laughs> <laughs> This is not how I pictured my knife. And he carried away by a shirtless man. That's what he call you as much. boy. You've been carried away by a sexy shirtless man, Dora. It could be worse. Um, a shroomer. Yep. Um, as Marshall, I order you to give me your pair of pants. You've got another pair at the, the department for you. Oh, I need some now. <laughs> yeah, take my shirt and then wrap it around your waist. <laughs> Give Snake. me your pants. Ah! Good snakes. Hey, Smiley, I got a better Smiley? I got a bed roll here. We can wrap you up in like a skirt. I'll let you know my response. You asked me for my pants, don't you? What's that? Fuck off! Not taking them. Hey, hey, Smiley, I got a bed roll we could drape over you. Oh, damn. You can have my pants up. Oh, oh damn. There's his horse. <laughs> Lou does have the best legs. <laughs> there you go. There you go, sir. You can take my pants. Lou? Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Just make sure he don't turn his head. That's why I'm riding this way, Arkus. Looked at his legs. Going in black water. Yeah. No. <laughs> when do you drink after this?
You have two choices, Marshall. You can rest at my ranch or you can rest at Blackwater the Park. What's that gonna look like? Blue riding in shirtless, the Marshall riding in pantsless. <laughs> I tried to be pantsless, but my, my pants won't come off. Just, that guy just had a good time. time. We don't judge people what they do. Here, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh no. Legs. <laughs> he missing? Is he missing legs? No. Put me down, Jeff. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is Jeff. What the hell? What, what, what? what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> I can't take off my pants. Uh, we don't need two pants with people. Like, I'm giving you my pants. It's fine. It'll probably hurt putting pants on. Alright, this is gonna hurt a little bit. Okay, just be gentle! <laughs> yep, our uh, Marshall. Oh, uh, watch your tone, Harkness. Say that to me. I can still fire you, partner. He's gonna get shot for the apartment then. Oh dear. What a shit show. What is Classic. my life? Some Lord. things what never change. You haven't been drinking, have you? That's so cool. Nell was talking to Smiley earlier. Tell him about the fishing for it. Better at catching crooks than I am fish. Some Could be uh, worse. Put clean river water into you instead of that dirty alcohol water. At least it's not cold. Oh, we're just going. Oh, no. uh... oh so what the hell? <laughs> oh, did, your shoe, did your shoes just break? Yeah, just you now. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, you piece of shit. Uh, can we. Nah, can we, can okay. we not parade me? Oh, God, okay, well. <laughs> Oh my this. god. I'm trained for this. Let's go as far What the hell? <laughs> you, could have, you could have a worse today, don't worry. You're being carried Smart. by a tall, Dolores. sexy man. This is Dolores, next time just leave me to die. Why? What's wrong with me carrying you? Just fucking leave him. Uh, Why just leave him? You got a sexy man carrying you. Just, uh, uh, just uh, let's just get me in there quickly before anyone sees me. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, Marshall, you rest up on the bed here, okay? All right, just put me down gently no, again. Hugh should go inside here. Bring Hughes in. Here, hop off. I'm gonna flee, I'm gonna flee Haster here. Oh, oh shit. Ah! Accident! Accident! Let's, let's go right, inside, go. Hughes. Come okay. I have a sleep, Marshall. Let me go in that bed. Oh. All right. oh, this is... Wait before you do. This is not the position I want to be in. <laughs> Dolores, you can come in. Oh dear. You know you can just walk in. Alright, well, Hughes, you, you, you follow these boys around and 
I have a, have a good day. I'm going to take a nap. I was thinking I might... I might take it easy in Blackwater. Just you. taking the sights. Uh, yeah, that... Uh, there's not a lot of sights happening right here, so... If you say so! Not your camera? Uh, Dolores, uh, don't I've you already, even think about it. I've already done it. I've already done it. Don't worry. We've got two great ones. I will start firing people. Hey, uh, you've been drinking. You can't fire me. God damn it. Touche. You never remembered anything, Smiley. Just while I've, while I've got your attention, Marshall. Uh, just wondering, um, when is Mr. Freeman's funeral coming up? Um, uh, we're still trying to organize a partner where, uh, well, now that I'm going to be sitting around for a while, I've got plenty of time to organize it, so I'm thinking maybe Sunday. But I'll, I'll I'll let everyone know as soon as I know. What what time do would you expect it to be? Uh, probably around seven. All right, I I could I could make that. Uh, I'll 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 make sure we have people who can make it. All right, thanks, Marshall. That. All right, I'm gonna take a nap. Y'all take care of yourself. Okay. Right. Gotta stop, Marshall. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Later, Marshall. Have fun. Wow, this place ring any bells, Mr. Hughes? Not really. Alright, let's go for a walk. Let's get you a pen and paper. We can take him down to the courthouse where he swore me in. We can. Um, also, there's a the bookshop here, too. I want to get him a pen and paper. Hey, oh. Oh, oh, I need to get one of those, too. I need to get a journal. We all Mr. Hughes, I'll journals. bring up the rear. Thank you. I got it. Hello, doggy. Let's go for a walk. It's, where's uh, Walter? Fuck, Walter. Oh my yes, goodness. sir. Friggin' hang yourself. Jesus. Yes, sir. Go on. <laughs> yeah, right. Guys, just floating. Do you remember this place, Mr. Hughes? Nope. Tell me you remember when? a uh, Javier Fernandez? No. He took you guys to court. You. Did he? He did. <laughs> what for? Well, just, I can't Walt remember. I was. Jeez. Uh... Oh, He's. Uh... I, he did. I was still a recruit back then. So I don't really, re no, I haven't really looked into the case file then. But Smiley was telling us how uh, Javier came and took you guys to court here. <laughs> right. And if you come with me, This was on my first week of duty, Mr. Hughes. Line up against that wall for me. Why? Line up against the wall for me, you'll see. Oh. Everybody, line up against this wall for me. Yes. Everybody. Walt, Dolores, Truba, everyone Walter. on that wall. Now, Mr. Hughes. Yeah. What have you done? On my first week of duty, you, Iron Jaw, Smiley, Aim. I forgot who else was there. Harkness, Freeman. Mr. Wolf had us all against this wall, telling us what we were doing wrong. Oh, oh on the department. This is something I will never forget because. This is the first time I've seen a bunch of grown men being told off, looking scared like children. It was quite a sight. Oh, he was a scary bastard. He was a very scary man indeed. Sheriff Wolf took no shit from anybody and we got chewed out. Now, 
Hopefully this might uh, jog a little bit of your memory. But this is something that I definitely would not forget. Nope. Oh, this is, this is very intimidating. It is very intimidating. Sheriff Wolf having us all up against this wall. I felt like we were back in school, getting told off by our principal. It was scary for everybody. Ugh. Yep. All right, let's yeah. go. That was good. I need to bring that back. I'll bring what back? The wall. It's good to talk to people on. Pink yeah, Floyd. But have the the same wall effect. available now Sheriff at Wolf all record left. stores. Yeah. Sheriff Wolf was a scary man. Yes, he was. Why do you think I'm such an asshole? I want you all to be careful here. Just be careful in town. Let's just pose no threat to anybody here. Yeah, that's why I'm such a prick to people. I don't take shit. That's how he trained me. Yeah. Alright. Let's grab you a book first, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hughes. And everybody else. Just, here's a bookstore here. What grab your notes. Uh, right fine. here. Oh, I just have been shot today. Awesome. Drinks it. Yeah, you want to go up to the uh, table up there. Come on, Mr. Hughes. You guys want to go up to the table? The table's where you can buy your book from and your pen. If you need any money, Mr. Hughes, Thank let me know. Oh, someone else jumped in before I could. There's a marriage book here. There is. Um, yeah? <laughs> is there now? Well, yes. Yes, oh, there is. Check out the saloon real quick. I'll be back. All right. Good to know. <laughs> All the company. Okay, stop there. I just have to remember to use it. Can you give me some more tobacco? What if I got anything? Stored in the bank here. Oh. oh, fish burgers and bunch of stuff. Some wagon repair kits, and that's where my Mauser pistol is when I went to Mexico. Show Mr. Uh, Hughes the saloon. Alright, there's no. Yeah. Alright, Mr. Hughes. Now, I believe there was a gentleman by the name of Victor Smirnoff. Right. In Sabine County. He used to own this saloon here. Okay. Now it's uh, run by the Colt Boys, the Colt Brothers. This is. Uh, we used to come here a lot to check up on Mr. To check up on Mr. Smirnoff, Mr. Ivan. That was the Russian gentleman. Russians. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's a pretty, pretty neat place. Yeah, hey, nothing rings a bell in here. Nope. The fish burgers are really good. Oh. Right. You don't mind. I need to go past the stables real quick and uh, tend to my horse. How's it going? Howdy. Howdy, sir. Uh, look, I'm just going to keep this as simple as possible. I just woke up with a very foggy head on the pier and I really want a bath. Can I get through? 
of course you yeah, do. Yeah, go for it. We're not, yep. we're not here for anything. Just go for yeah, a sorry, walk. just you know, got a lawman sitting there with a uh, you know, rather large rifle there. I figured I'd better check. No, no, no. You're nope, right, you're good. You're go right, right ahead. Cheers. <laughs> I'm just going to go to the stables real quick. My uh, horse needs some new shoes. You are. And then we'll make our way up to Manzanita Post. I was thinking I might stay here for a while and just yeah, and just maybe rent a room and just yeah, take him always... aside. Just yeah, you can always sleep in the department. Good to know. That's apartment comfy. buildings are your home now as well, Mister Hughes. Right. Just gonna go. Uh... Fix my horse real quick. It's um, it's weird, Battle Tanger. It's like the Guama Harvest Nights were so much fun. So it's a shame that's come to an end, but it's just how it goes. Go on in. That's right. Yeah, he may. He may one day. He may. That would definitely fit his character doing silly stuff like that. I might go see Sage when I go off duty tonight. I need to join you as well. Oh, there you go, sir. Now, yeah, Mister Hughes, there's a um. Hey, partner. There's a ranch up here that I'm buying. I want you to know that it's also a safe house. All right. So if, if you need anything. You can go there. That's my house. I'm also going to be uh, doing some stuff with the department there later. So if you if you do need the place, you're more than welcome to uh, stay there. I appreciate that, Lou. Thank you very much. No problem. Uh, you're going to stay around here? Yeah. 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 Thank you all very much for taking the time and showing patience and that and understanding. I really George, appreciate it. We, a pleasure. We do it time and time again for you. All right. Well, thanks again. I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm just going to go and just process things and just enjoy myself. And yeah, keep keep me posted as to when that funeral's taking place. And I'll do my best to be there. I will do. You want us to walk you back to the apartment? Uh, I'll be all right. Thank you, though. No problem. All right, bye. Have a good. See, 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 you, see you next time. See you no later. I'll, I'm available too if you need to talk. Sounds good, ma'am. Again, thank you very much. All right. Good, sir. <laughs> hey, nice. Hey, donkey. How you doing, mate? That was funny. Poor Marshall Joe. Silly Marshall Joe. Oh. What a silly Billy. Yeah, I can tell you this for sure, everyone. I am... Because I, I had a late night last night and then an early morning today because I had a house inspection today before work of all times. Hi, so I was busy just doing some, you know, last minute vacuuming and doing the dishes and stuff. And then I was thinking about it and then I get to get up early, you know, early so I was ready for it. Then I can get straight to work. So I'm just, I'm just feeling very tired. So I think I will, I will wrap this up for tonight. And I might just play some Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, do a couple of runs of that, and then I'm going to go to bed, have a good night's sleep. And then Thursday, tomorrow, so um, I suspect I might have some meetings on tomorrow night for some side stuff going on. But maybe I'm hoping I can fit in a Vald proper Valdemar stream, maybe Friday night. 
Saturday during the day from midday, I'll be doing esports casting again. And then uh, it sounds like Saturday night or Sunday night will be another Hughes stream with uh, Clive Freeman's funeral, which will would, would be very important to be at. So that is the general plan. And then, so thank you all very much. The hangs. Thank you, thank you, thank you.